Hmm, what was that? Truly.
might still be stuck inside if we hadn't been attacked. Someone else got out. This is the pool that Bing came from. The parasite now writhing behind your eye. Casing is fragile. The slightest touch could cause it to crumble. Wonder if the gods are watching me. Dead. Good. Images of goblins, their habits and histories flash into your mind. Yeah. A schematic of a nautiloid flashes into your mind. Nerves, sinews, as much living being as ship. Thousand years of humanoid history, elves, dwarves, humans, and more flash behind your eyes. to save us from this place. From this place you'll free us. The exposed brain quivers in expectation. Please, before they return. They return. A newborn. Born new from this husk. You realize you're talking to an intellect devourer. A minion of the Mind Flayers who abducted you. The enemy! So many enemies! Remove us from this body! From this case! Free us! an opportunity. You could cripple the strange creature, making it more subservient, should it prove a threat. The 
creature seems unaware of your interference, it relaxes in your hands. We are free. Our freedom is ours, friend. The creature pauses, listening. Something behind your eyes seizes in recognition. We must go to the helm! At the helm, we are needed. The brain tenses, as though querying an unseen advisor. Do you not hear it? We will not survive here. We are needed to navigate. We are needed to leave this realm. rush past. A dragon swing, a silver sword, and a flash of your face seen through the strange woman's eyes. Oh. My head. What is this? Skvar, you are no thrall. Flaketh blesses me this day. Together, we might survive. Who am I? Your only chance of survival. We carry Mind Flayer parasites. Unless we escape, unless we are cleansed, our bodies and minds will be tainted and twisted. Within days, we will be Gaith, Mind Flayers. do nothing until we escape. That must be our priority. First, we exterminate the imps. Then we find the helm and take control of the ship. As for that thing, it will remain tame as long as it believes we are thralls. It may be of use in the fight to come.
won't be able to take another dragon attack. We need to get out before it's too late. Responsive. Life flickers in his eyes, but he seems totally unaware of his surroundings. You! Get me out of this, Jamsi! We have no time for stragglers. The construction is too alien. Nothing looks familiar. This ship is crashing. Do you intend to die for a stranger? Try that contraption next to the pod. They did something to it when they sealed me in. Hurry! Please! The console appears dormant. The mechanisms are completely unrecognizable at first, but then you spy an empty socket. Nothing. The console remains dormant. Whatever fits in that socket must power this thing. appear in your mind, a brain, a Githyanki warrior, and centuries of darkness. A brain in a jar. the pod. She doesn't notice you. At the ready. Another brain. This might unlock those controls next to the pod. As you place your hand on the pod, you hear something. A presence connected to the pod, commanding the person inside to change. Newborn mind 
Flyer stares at you, weak and dazed. You are beautiful. Console appears dormant. The console hums to life. But what is its purpose? Will it free the captain or transform her like that other unfortunate? Nothing in the appearance of the device betrays its purpose. It could do anything. It could even transform the occupant of the pod, like what happened before. Suddenly, you feel a hideous squirming in your head. The parasite. Then discomfort fades, and another sensation washes over you. Connection. Authority. You feel the biomechanical brain of the console process your command and yield to it. A shiver runs across your mind. You feel sated. Fair point. Looks like there's plenty of fighting ahead. Let me come with you. We can get off this ship and watch each other's backs along the way. I did. It must be because of those parasites they put in us. But that'll have to wait. Are we going to help each other or not? Shadowheart. One moment. It's nothing. Trust me. Enough of this chatter. We need to get to the helm. Now. She's right. Lead on. The man isn't dead, but he's totally unresponsive. It's up for discussion. Life flickers in his eyes, but he seems totally unaware of his surroundings.
We are nearing the helm. Once inside, do as I say. Who put you in charge? I'll trust my own judgment. Kenyank.
come a little closer. position. Simple enough. The Helm's alien transponder. You've made it in time.
As you wake, the tadpole squirms in your skull. The chaos of the crash site confuses the landscape. You'll need to find a settlement or landmark, and you'll need to do it quickly. The tadpole is a death sentence, and the clock is ticking. You need a cure. The Divine tend to keep their interventions close to the chest. Though, I suppose it's not impossible. You might want to reconsider calling her a friend. Looks like she ran off without us. No. I don't recognize this place. But anything's an improvement on where we just came from. First things first, we need supplies, shelter, and most of all, a healer. We might have escaped, but we still have these little monsters in our heads. We need each other, and we both know what's at stake. Can't think of better company. One thing, just before we go, I wanted to thank you again for freeing me. It would have been all too easy for you to run right past my pod, but you didn't. I'll remember that. Lead the way. Fresh water. There must be a settlement somewhere nearby.
more of those wretched things. Stay back. One strike could be lethal. No choice but to keep going. Quite well. Perhaps our survival isn't such a distant prospect. Something good here, I hope. These boots have seen everything. Oh, we'll do the trick. I've got one of those brain things cornered. There, in the grass. You can kill it, can't you? Like you killed the others?
There. Can you see it? Just a dumb boar. You're relieved. Until you see the flash of a dagger. I just need information. I saw you scuttling about on the ship. You're in league with them, aren't you? Those tentacle... Ah! Your mind twists. You're looking out of unfamiliar eyes, prowling dark, busy streets. You try to hold the memory, but it fades to the worm. The light. The fear. <sighs> what was that? What's going on? The worm. Of course. That explains things... somewhat. And to think... I was ready to decorate the ground with your innards. <laughs> no apologies. <laughs> A kindred spirit. My name's Astarian. I was in Baldur's Gate when those beasts snatched me. A pleasure. So... Do you know anything about these worms? Turn us into... <laughs> of course it'll turn me into a monster. What else did I expect? Although... It hasn't happened yet. If we can find an expert, someone that can control these things, there might still be time. Well, yes, of course. But first things first... You know, I was ready to go this alone, but maybe sticking with the herd isn't such a bad idea. And you seem like a useful person to know. All right. I accept. Lead on. There, a mind flayer. And it's hurt. That thing's bound to be dangerous, even if injured. Best be careful. You approach the dying monster. This is the thing that abducted you. You could end its life here and now, if only you didn't feel compassion. Compassion. You can't move, can't think. Thinking is mercifully done for you. It will be a joy to serve, to die for it an honor. It's possessing your mind, forcing you to love it. But then the feeling slips. The creature's mind seems to focus elsewhere. Your mind's fuse, lusting for something that is gone. But then its grip claws back with a vengeance, a vice locking your mind into obedience. It needs sustenance to survive, and with your very body, you can provide. The monster lies exhausted, defeated, 
Its eyes, wet orange pearls, radiate malice. Monster. Death is too good for it. Dead goblins over there. Worth checking for supplies, maybe. That room looks unstable somehow. You approach the sigil on the stone. Magic glitters and swirls from it erratically, as if malfunctioning. It looks slightly dangerous. I should have clarified. Mm -hmm. A helping hand. Anyone? Just your average traveler stuck between realms. Pull me out, and we'll get properly introduced. It's working wonders! Now a quick little pull should do the trick. Oh. Hello. I'm Gale of Waterdeep. Apologies. I'm usually better at this. That magic. Say, but I know you, don't I? In a manner of speaking. You were on the Nautiloid as well. And I can only assume you too were on the receiving end of a rather unwelcome insertion in the ocular region. The insertee we speak of, this parasite, are you aware that after a period of excruciating gestation, it will turn us into mind flayers? It's a process known as ceramorphosis, and let me assure you, it is to be avoided. You don't happen to be a cleric by any chance, do you? A doctor? Surgeon? Uncannily adroit with a knitting needle? You seem to know enough about our condition to realize it's beyond most cleric's skills. Most, no doubt. But I find myself hoping to be in the presence of the few. You don't happen to be one of them. As we've established, few enough can. It's not exactly a common affliction. We're most certainly going to need a healer, and soon, too. How about we lend each other a helping hand once more and look for a healer together? Most excellent. A parasite shared is a parasite halved. Or something to that effect. Oh, but before you think you're about to embark on a journey with most ill-mannered a man, thank you for pulling me out of that stone. 
It was an act of foresighted kindness, I assure you. For I have the feeling ample opportunities will present themselves for me to return the favor. in magic, are you? No matter to worry the unlettered over. If you meet any elder wizards, let me know. There is a matter I'd like to seek advice on from a master. What's on your mind? Let's see. I hail from Waterdeep, City of Splendors. I am a wizard of considerable acclaim and scholar of exceptional accomplishment. I have a cat, a library, and a weakness for a good glass of wine. And if the mood takes me, I'm known to try my hand at poetry. There. Certainly. That I have a great respect for privacy, for instance, especially my own. Try as you might to breach his inner thoughts, Gale swats your efforts away with infuriating ease. I have a very disciplined mind. Those tricks won't work on me. Please don't try that again unless I invite you to. So, we've picked up a wizard who managed to get stuck in his own portal. <laughs> Hardly a promising introduction. Oh, what's to tell? I'm a magistrate back in the city. It's all rather tedious. I've heard you can't get blood from a stone, but apparently you can get a wizard from one. Gale seems... interesting. There's no story. None that you're entitled to hear, anyway. Just forget you ever saw it. We haven't gone all that far yet. What are you referring to, exactly? Must I? Thinking about it won't help. We know what to do, so let's do it. Find a way to rid ourselves of these things. We've no solid leads right now, though. We'd best get hunting. If you discover anything that might help us, I'm all ears. I suppose we'd go our separate ways. Not a slight on your company, of course. Home. Baldur's Gate. There's someone waiting for me there. Someone I have to reach. As soon as possible. Let's just say it's a very personal, very private acquaintance. I must admit, you've been a surprise, and not an unpleasant one. Kindred spirits are few and far between for me. Besides, you saved my life aboard the Nautiloid. How can I do anything but sing your praises? What's on your mind? I question the wisdom of that decision, but so be it. I'll be in the camp then, idling away the hours. Broken. Must have been here a while.
catch a break? You think it's dangerous? Of course it's dangerous. One of them carved up Zoru's whole squad. So let's leave it. And let the goblins have it? No. We take it to the grove. <sighs> well, some rests better than none. Zoru was right. Yellow as a toad, twice as ugly. The thing's dangerous. Leave it for the goblins to kill. Your skull pounds in response to the prisoner's white, hot stare. Her lips don't move, yet you hear her voice. Get rid of them. Holy hells. Under elf. Lay time, I miss her. Dimessa, watch out! my way. On the move. Get me down. Very well. Slow to respond. Unsurprising. Enough gawking. Get me down. Never. The tadpole hasn't yet scrambled all your senses. Auspicious. But the longer we wait, the more it consumes. My people possess the cure for this infection. I must find a crash. You will join me. Careful. She obviously sees your kindness as weakness. Don't let her take advantage. It is many things. A hatchery. A training grounds. A shelter. Githyanki protocol is clear. When infected with a gaith tadpole, we must report to Augustil for purification. You may as well suggest a wyvern bow to worms. 
The cure I offer will suffice as thanks. You have made an ally from Kresh Kalir. Few know such fortune. Call me Lazel. I'll trust your judgment, but I won't trust her. Not until I've gotten the measure of her. You've a sharp tongue, elf. Would that your mind proved its equal. Half elf. I suppose the finer details are lost on a creature like you. Come. The Horned Ones mentioned a camp. One there, this Zoru, has seen Githyanki. A crash must be near. We will ask this Zoru where he has seen my kin. No traps, please. Eager for battle. So that's progress. Need to find a way forward. Another broken trap. Who made these things? Chatter already, Tusky. I expect I am your first. Of course you haven't. They would have cut you from navel to neck. You are no less alien to me than I am to you. I know of your kind, but I do not often encounter them. That large, fleshy nose of yours looks like a mistake. It was an observation, not a compliment. No matter. I do not intend to stay long in this place. I understand much beyond your comprehension. More to the point, I know the cure for our condition. It is imperative we locate a crash. You do well to observe more and question less. Yes, in great detail. It starts with a fever and memory loss. Then you start to hallucinate. Your hair falls out, and you bleed from every orifice. Your bones will change form. Your jaw will split to allow room for four great tentacles. All skin will turn to gore and be shed to reveal new flesh underneath. Then you have ceased to exist, and a mind flayer is born. Because I do not intend to let this happen. Not to me, and if you stick with me, not to you. We must find my kind and be rid of the parasite. It's as simple as that. The first symptoms should have long since started, though. That is what puzzles me. Yes, if you give it no further thought. But anomalies lead to surprises. Bad surprises. Besides, what hasn't happened may yet come to pass. Lazelle has a dangerous look in her eyes. Let's just hope she reserves those impulses for any common foes. I am enjoying the latest addition to our little group. Lazelle is delightful. In a very look at me twice and I'll dismember you kind of way, of course.
Not much use anymore. Hmm. What's that? Haven't seen anyone but us. It's just wilderness out here. You both twice as tall as me, but I'm half the bloody backbone! But we don't know what that thing even is. And what about the crypt? I'm telling you, it's a ship. And the crypt can wait. Mari and Barton have been trying to break in for days. Now we... Stop! Got ourselves competition already. That's our ship. First you look, then you touch, then you take. The only thing we're sharing with you is our pointy ends. Get him! Heading there.
Time and the elements have left the plaque unreadable. It's been a long day. I'll need to rest soon. Speak. Oh, enough waiting. I crave blood. Looking ahead. Whatever it takes. Is that blood? No, never mind. Everything all right out there? You sound a bit shaken, boss. Hang on while I find the key. monster forms inside us, and you think to be idle. I knew your kind to be fragile, but I didn't foresee the severity. Be quick about your rest. We must locate a crash. The parasites inside us do not rest. Even as we speak, they defile our brains and warp our bones. Take your rest. I will stand watch. Should a single tentacle split your skull, I will not hesitate to end you. Your gift friend seems on edge. Mustn't relish the thought of sprouting tentacles. Understandable. 
can't say I'm a fan either. It's just hard to join in when all of this feels so new. The night normally means bustling streets, bursting taverns. Curling up in the dirt and resting is, um, a little novel. I'm in no place to rest yet. Today has been a lot. I need some time to think things through. To process this. You sleep. I'll keep watch. Suit yourself. Sweet dreams. Mm. Go to hell. Ha! <laughs> You're a good sport. Go to hell. An everyday expression. So trivial, it's almost meaningless. But we've seen hell. It's real. And it isn't trivial. Devils. Dragons, mind flayers. They used to be abstracts. Pictures on a piece of paper. What a difference a day makes. Now we have tadpoles slithering through our heads like carnivorous feti. That's not abstract. Ballet of Flames invites reflection. But you're right. Let's be up with the lark. Find a healer before the wee one gets hungry. Doing the rounds, are you? You'd better get some rest. What were you two talking about? Wrong. Your business is mine. We're entwined, thanks to this. If we're to survive, we need to trust each other. You seem reliable. I think you know how important it is that we find someone who can cure us. Best if we focus on that. Good. We might even get lucky and find one right away. As I see it, we're overdue some good fortune. Rest well.
What's next, I wonder? What to do? At the ready. I need a quick word. if the gods are watching me. No more prayers. Only dust and silence. Who are those prayers for? Normally the patron god is obvious. Not here. Ancient, indecipherable text covers the plaque. A dead tongue? Whoever worshipped here must be long gone. These boots have seen everything. What are Gimbal Bok and the others doing up there? Maybe we should go take a look. Not a chance. Be a trap. Just keep your eyes peeled. <laughs> Oh. 
Time to move. One day, I'll catch a break. My patience wanes. I am death. Can't afford any mistakes. Shall we cut and run? A better position. And these things have stayed interesting. I wonder what the next move is. Got to press on. Not bad. I've had better days. And worse ones. Someone there.
promise to put my hands on everything. You do not recognize the language on the plaque. You do not recognize the language on the plaque. text on the plaque is a mystery to you. What's next? The text on the plaque is a mystery to you. Looks like a trap there. Time to press ahead. I prefer gold. I'll take it. Should mind my step. Watch how you go. There's a trap. Hmm? Subtle steps.
must avoid that trap. Traps. How considerate. Be careful. There are traps about. Away. What a day. <laughs> Easy. Let's get going. Moving ahead. See what new horrors waiting for us. Mm, better not be cursed. Armed scribes, but no sign of a struggle. The bones are intact. Would not scavengers have disturbed them? God, how quaint. The inscription is in a language unknown to you. 
I've never seen this language before. Who was worshipped here? Still breathing, despite everything. Let's have a look. Moving in. No traps, please. Looks like someone wanted to bury their secrets. Something the matter? Let's see what this does. Careful, I might. Let's crack it open. Slow down. Oh, enough waiting. I crave blood. Wits and blades, always sharp. Onward. Keep a blade close. Quick step. What to do? Never wanted the easy path. Oh, enough waiting. I crave blood.
this will do nicely. On the move. They didn't want to surrender their valuables, even after death. Let us fill our packs and depart. The dead need no trinkets, but we might make use of them. Moving in. Ah, uh, I need to rest. The sunset can't come quickly enough. Sarcophagus. Here lies the guardian of tombs. Through knowledge comes atonement. So he has spoken, and so thou standest before me, right as always. What a curious way to awaken. Now, I have a question for thee. What is the worth of a single mortal's life? Curiosity. Nothing more. 
Wilt thou answer my question? So, I ask again, what is the worth of a single mortal life? A life and how it is lived are different equations. Very well. I am satisfied. We have met, and I know thy face. We will see each other again at the proper time and place. Farewell. How long has it been? We have nothing more to discuss. Continue on my way, as if I were not here. I must attend this place after so many years away. We will see each other again, soon. The mechanics of fate would be difficult to explain to one such as thyself. Regardless, it will occur. We have nothing more to discuss. Continue on thy way, as if I were not here. I must attend this place after so many years away. We will see each other again soon. I'll be keeping an eye on you. Understand? If I choose to kill you, you will not even see it. Something the matter? Yes. 
left nothing. And yet another. Hardly the warmest of welcomes. I hear shouting up ahead. Music to get Yankee ears. Swift as my feet can carry me. I have a word. Chucky! Come closer. Dry skin. Clear eyes. You do not suffer. You flourish. Disturbing. We should feel them now. Our bones should ache, our mouths should bleed, yet we thrive. It is madness. Keep your rest short. Time is not our ally. I saw our gith friend inspecting you. I have to say, I thought you'd look worse, but no. Not a tentacle to be seen. It's unexpected, but we shan't complain. I'm not taking anything for granted, of course. First sign of change, and I'll have to stop that pretty little heart of yours. I am open to suggestions. Knives, poison, strangulation, whatever you'd prefer. <laughs> A classic. One good thrust to the heart, and you're gone. We need a good blade, of course. Don't want to waste time hacking and prodding with a dinner knife. Uh, well, I'm getting ahead of myself. This is all a worst-case scenario, obviously. <laughs> oh, my boy. I'd like to see you try. Now, let's get some rest. The sooner we start tomorrow, the better our chances of keeping this... Hypothetical. I couldn't help but overhear... Well, all right, I could have helped but didn't. Anyway, I feel the same. Other than the occasional mental exchange, it's almost as if we're not infected. The voice on the ship told me I'd become a beautiful weapon. What do you think it meant? Whatever they were, those plans were interrupted by the dragons. Either way, we can't take the lack of symptoms for granted. We have to find a healer. Well, I've said my piece. Get some rest. Mm -hmm. 
Be with you in a moment. Not a trick, my friend. Magic. Be that as it may. Saw Lazelle giving you a look over. Great minds think alike. No doubt she came to the same conclusion. We're healthier than we should be. Any expert will agree this is abnormal. That, alas, is where my knowledge fails me. A rogue might call it luck, a priest might call it fate. As for myself, I'm a pragmatic. I see the silence before the storm. Something to sleep on. We should get some rest. We meet again, as predicted. I shall be here in thy camp, for whenever thou hast need of my services. There are many answers to that question. None are important. Correct. No. A mending of the threads between life and death. Should thou or any of thy compatriots perish, I will cleave soul to body once more. Because it is my calling, there is little else to explain. A matter of coin. Then I shall wait here patiently until it is acquired. Such is life, outrage leading to a singular end. Open the bloody gate! Nobody gets in! Zevlor's orders! That pack of goblins will be on us any second! 
What's going on? Goblins are on our tail! Open the gates, Zevlor, now! You let goblins here? Where is the druid? Please! There's no time! By the nine hells! Open the gates! Damnable roach. Provoke the blade. And suffer its sting. Sickle and sword. some blood.
wish my luck again. That was the last of them. Inside! All of you! More may follow! Open the gate! It's done. Good. They were tenacious. I wonder what they wanted here, other than bloodshed. I just wonder if the grubby little beasts had any friends, and if they're nearby. I wonder what the next move is. Let's move. If not over, then through. I have something to ask. inside. being watched. We was running for our lives. You led them straight to us, and you let them take the druid too? Unbelievable! Pull your claws in, Underelf. Show some respect. This man saved your pathetic life. Well, I didn't ask for any goddamn help. Please, you were begging me to open the gate. Anything to save yourself, you coward! The human's eye twitches. He's about to blow. <clears throat> Should have done that a long time ago. Arrogant prick had it out for me from day one. No one leaves my people out cold. Too little, too late. He was right, though. Coming back to this hellhole was a mistake no amount of gold can put right. I'd rather face another round of goblins than stay in this pit. Goblins with the same vigor he had for that teeth for once. Let's try to avoid any more punching. We need to find a healer. A cheap shot. I should have expected that. What I didn't expect was help out there from a drow. Thank you. I'm Zevlor. Well met. I should warn you, 
Visitors are no longer welcome in this grove. Whatever your business, I'd see to it quickly. The druids are forcing everyone out. This attack will only strengthen their resolve. There have been several attacks by different monsters. The druids blame us outsiders for drawing them here. Nobody's welcome anymore. They've started a ritual to cut the grove off from the world outside. We can't stay, but we'll be slaughtered if we leave. We're no fighters. We are refugees from Elturel. We took shelter here after Knowles attacked us on the road. We were bound for Baldur's Gate, and it was too late to turn back. Elturel had no place for tieflings after the descent. I'm surprised you haven't heard of it. The High Overseer, our Grand Protector, signed a pact with devils. It dragged Elturel straight to hell. Lucky for us, a group of adventurers found a way to bring the city back. Afterwards, people looked at us and just saw Devilkin. No different from the druids here, really. I've tried. Korga, their new first druid, won't even see me. You, though? I know it's not your business, but she owes you for saving this place. Perhaps you could persuade her for more time to prepare, if nothing else. We'd owe you a great debt. What little we have, we'll scrape together. It isn't coin we need, it's time. Goblin got you. The druid Halsin's a renowned healer, but he didn't make it back from Aradin's expedition. If it's not too serious, you could try his apprentice, Nettie. She's with the other druids in the inner grove. They've withdrawn there to prepare this damn ritual of theirs. Really? We're messengers now? You'll find the druids at the heart of the grove. Please, make them see sense. Oh, and if it's of any concern, you're brave to walk around without hiding your heritage. I'll make sure everyone knows that you helped us at the gate. Open up. say when I was homesick <laughs> he never let it show but he was homesick too he didn't deserve this Glad you made it inside. Doubt we'll be safe here for long, though. There'll be more coming. Goblins hunting packs. A few goblins. Felt like a lot more to me. So yes, I'm scared. And I'm not ashamed of that. I feel like we're being watched. 
changed. We could say a prayer. We should have time for that. Yeah. Yeah. That would be good. Still here. Thought you'd have abandoned us by now. Have some respect. This really isn't the time to talk. Not now. Please. No time to waste. Have good timing. Never been much of a fighter, so wrestling a bugbear would have gone poorly. But you're not here for heroics, are you? Avernus's stench is all over your skin. Let me guess. Your devil mistress sent you to get her soul coin back. But too bad. I earned it, fair and square. just can't stand to lose here now go back to the pit that made you why thank you dread slayer of bugbears you shall live forever in my memory now take my regards back to that pouting ironies and leave me alone Then our interests barely intersect. I'm sure there are other bugbears to kill. Best of luck finding them. That coin's worth plenty. Don't let a squid get their tentacles on it. You peer through the telescope. You see a dragon circling like a bird of prey, hunting. The telescope points to the left. The telescope points straight ahead. The telescope points to the right.
That coin's worth plenty. Squirrel lunges at your foot and bites it. No, what did you do? <laughs> it's everywhere. You ruined a perfectly good snack. You claim victory over the squirrel. So you're not sure why you were fighting to begin with. Take that back, right now. next.
So that's progress. Vlakis will be done. Action, not reaction. Someone there? No one back home will ever believe this. Refugees, adventurers, and even a drow. No one in years, and suddenly we're overwhelmed. Well met. And thank you for beating back those goblins. Most brave of you. Is there anything you need? Act fast if you do. The ritual will be complete before too long. I know it's drastic, but more monsters seem to terrorize this region every day. We druids will be safe. As for those that took refuge here, well, may Sylvanus guard them as they continue their travels. As I said, it's a drastic measure, but the survival of the Grove is paramount. There just aren't enough supplies to support everyone. Just some bits and bobs I no longer need. This is about your precious border's gate. I care about our lives, our futures. No, you just care about your stupid apprenticeship. Take that back, right now. Calm down, please. I won't leave them behind. You're going to get us killed! Sylvanus, guide your path. I'll not gamble our lives, our futures, on people who are as good as dead. We must leave for Baldur's Gate at once. Can we all just take a moment, please? What's the point in blades and spells if we don't bloody use them? We should stay. These people aren't fighters. We can help. Or yell louder. That's fine too. Common sense at last. Let's get out of this death trap. Or would you deny your brother here his chance at fortune in Baldur's Gate? Come on, sis. We're less of a target alone. We should leave. Ah, oh, fine. Let's sneak away like God's damned cowards. But if something happens to these people, it's on us. I hope you know that. This place is a bloody death trap, not a sanctuary. You should clear off while you can. Something's off. This creature isn't what it appears to be. Again. Shouldn't wish to live in more 
interesting times. Need to find a way forward. You're exposed now. Elbows high. Now pull back and swing. Something's on my mind. Go on. Give me a best shot. Not bad. Again. I can't do it. I'm not like you. Umi, I don't need you to be like me. You just have to buy enough time to run. Come on. I believe in you. You can do this. Hmm. You're on the right path, Umi. Go on now. Practice what you've learned. Well met. The Blade of Frontiers at your... The man's smile bends downward. And his thoughts become yours. You are the Blade of Frontiers racing through the wastes of Avernus. Just ahead, a diabolical figure, red skin, single curled horn, blazes with flame, bloodied great axe hell. <sighs> Hell's great fires. You are on the ship. You see the fiend again and ignite with Will's rancor. She is an infernal war devil, a threat to the living, evil incarnate. Shit! You saw her. Advocatus Diaboli. Her name is Karlak, an archdevil soldier I swore on my good eye to kill. I tracked her through the hells to the Mind Flayer ship, but the damned Elithids infected me before I could end her. She's out there now, preying on the innocent. I don't kill her, she'll leave behind nothing but a trail of corpses. An excellent suggestion, but your party's full up. Still, when the time comes, call for the blade. I won't be long to answer. A splendid plan. We'll talk more there. Next time the goblins come, I'll be ready. Swing and swing and... This is boring. We should train against real goblins. I saw you at the gates. You fight well. A few words for the kids. Spare a story or two. Good job. Now they're even more scared. Step, parry, strike, damn it! It's just not landing. You have a better way? Because I'm all ears. We need to be ready for a fight. But I'm useless with a sword. What do you think I'm doing? Brace, parry, swing. Ah! Oh. Ah! Oh. I'll have to keep practicing. Again. Swing and swing and parry. By Mordai's eyes, another one. My friend's blood not enough. Come to rip me open too. In Kresh Kalir, a formal greeting begins with a bow. Is this monster with you? Lower.
you saw another gith. Where? On the road, to Baldur's Gate. N near the mountain pass. S saw us, for we saw it. Jammed its blade through Yul's belly. Straight to the other side. No twisting. Kin must have been in a hurry. The map. Show me. Up. You can keep your innards. Oh, you're not going to eviscerate him. I was hoping for a show. Cool your blood. I'll indulge you soon enough. Please. I... I've been through enough. The locals prove compliant. A useful trait. I warned you, didn't I? You ought to reconsider keeping her around before she causes real trouble. Chuh. A shell so thin requires little to crack it. The teethling was clear. If there are Githyanki west of here, that must be our objective. Purification cannot wait. I am unfamiliar with the, well, I shall not say culture, custom, perhaps. You will educate me on matters of this fey run. The Kresh holds the Zathisk. It will cleanse us of the parasite. By covenant, I can say no more. So, we're traveling with the famed Blade of Frontiers. I feel safer already. The Blade of Frontiers. Let's hope Will lives up to his name. We'll need all the help we can get. Is that everything? I think that's everything. Goblins, druids, this grove is a death trap. Grab what you can and get out. That's my advice. No time to dally. The rat's eyes soften as he emits a pained squeak. You realize the source of his discomfort. One of his front teeth is chipped. Gluttony. The rat squeaks in interest. With an enthusiastic chitter, he urges you to follow. No time to waste. Again. Swing, swing, carry. Limits. Leave. Damn 
limit was inventory today. I'm sorry. Nerves are shot after the attack. Do what you gotta do. Sorry if I don't show you around. Yes, thanks. I know. I <sighs> should have never taken that bloody potion. No! I'm just an idiot. I wanted an edge against the goblins, and I got it. I'm as strong as a bugbear. And fearless. But the old lady, she warned me of side effects. Should have listened. Now I'm stuck guarding crates. I guess being fearless won't help if an arrow comes flying right at me. Here. Very mercenary of you. I wouldn't have done it any differently. Oh. Thank you. You'll still heal me, right? Did that? No, damn it. Still nothing. Maybe. Maybe it just needs time to wear off. Fingers crossed the goblins don't return anytime soon. The rat hisses at you, his eyes flashing distrustfully. There's no time to waste. The rat chitters angrily. Whatever broke his tooth is in this room. His dark eyes stare at you, eager for this danger to be banished. The rat chitters angrily. His dark eyes stare at you. The chest is free from danger once again. Can't give up now. What path lies before me? What? Wait! You promised! Guards! This is a restricted area. Time to explain yourself, or this guard will be restricting you to a cell. guard is impassive. Your little speech was unconvincing.
There better be a soft bedroll in my near future. Just another crate. Let's see what this does. You ain't gonna shoot me. Your hands are shaking. Put it down. She can't fight back. That's the point. Get out of the way. She didn't kill your brother, Arca. You're better than this. Shoot before you lose your nerve, Tiefling. If you ever had it to begin with. I'm not afraid. Chosen by the absolute I am. I'm blessed. Oh, I'll bless you, all right. Looks like the absolute sent me a protector. You're gonna kill him, too? You, move! I wish you weren't. I really do. 
Damn you. Damn it! Why do you care if a goblin lives or dies? Your soft heart will be the death of us. Gods, you're exhausting. Fine, then. It's all right, Arca. Let's go. I'm gonna bite the heads off your kids! Having fun with your new goblin friend? Bet you aren't. Didn't expect to see a drought in here. Did the boss lady send you to rescue me? Tell the boss all about this pretty little place so she can burn it to the ground. We'll be heroes, blessed by Priestess Gut in the name of the Absolute. The Absolute is gold from the sky, she is. The blessing in the storm and the storm itself. We're burning her name across the face of the world, we are. Got a whole lab set up. Cooks up potions that fix our lads, no matter how much of a beating they take. Could probably stick your head back on if someone was to chop it off. <laughs> Mighty booyog. You won't regret it, promise. Let me out, you bunch of softies! Watch your back. Oh, for You're gonna be sorry! Every last one of ya! These boots have seen everything. Oh, you teeths are all boring! Even your cages are boring! up for discussion. I told you. Not now. Is that everything? I think that's everything. Thanks for fighting off those goblins. If you need to replace any gear, just ask. My selection's pretty slim. I had to leave most of my equipment in Elterel. Of sorts. Used to be a bread and butter tinsmith before Elterel fell into Avernus. These days, my talents are more eclectic. Learned a lot in my time in the Hells. Hope to forget most of it. But between you and me, there's nothing in all the realms like the utter power of infernal machinery. Alas, my offerings are far more humble these days. those slimy bastards. Fancy a bowl? Best to fill your belly now, while we still can. Food. You want it or not? Look, it ain't much, but it might make all the difference. The only way we'll make it to Baldur's Gate is to run, and run hard. If a knoll catches your scent, you'll need every bit of strength. Trust me. Hmm. Doesn't taste half bad.
You've had your share. Leave some for the rest. Have you spoken to Korga? Of course, you have your own business to attend to. But if the Druids won't abandon this ritual of theirs, it will be trouble for all of us. You're the one who helped at the gate. Glad to have another sword. We might need it. A dog, right? They don't allow them in Baldur's Gate. Cats, though? A little orange cat. And a house with a little door so that it can come and go as it pleases. And a high fence to keep eavesdroppers out. If that's what we're offered, we'll take it. Everyone's got to start somewhere. Optimism, my friend. Try it out. We're exposed. I suppose we'll start in the outer city. Get a little business going. Your spiced tea is life-changing. And I can bake up almond cakes 20 at a time. Can't afford to stay idle. And we'll have a dog, right? They don't allow them in Baldur's Gate. And a high fence to keep eavesdroppers out. No bother. We're just daydreaming anyhow. What about you? Big plans for when you get to the city? I think I've heard of that place. Something about a stuffed dragon's head in one of the dining rooms. It's settled, Dannis. You, me, and the Elf Song Tavern first thing when we arrive. If we see you there, we'll get you a pint. For your finder's fee. What to do? When we get to the city, 
Whatever we want. No helping no, I think I'd make a fine teacher. Or a baker. Or a butcher. 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 known enough grief this ten day traveler don't be the cause of more anything of use hmm. he stares right past you as if you're invisible or boring you see nothing out of the ordinary. When you turn back, there's no trace of the child. My faith will guide me. Get into me. Never a day we can at least make a run for it. Those drow, right? I heard stories about you. How you all live underground and steal kids away. Oh. Okay. Um, hey. Would you like to see something fun? Go on. Take this ring. It's lucky. You haven't seen anything yet, mister. Go on, take the ring and watch your fortune change. Weeping, bleeding hells! Okay, maybe you don't need extra luck, but since you're already holding the thing, call it heads or tails. Tails it is! See? That's the kind of luck you get from one of my lucky rings. I've got more where that came from. Real cheat, too. Interested? You gotta pay for that. Fine, keep it. Call it a sample, yeah? But you gotta at least look at the other rings, okay? I gotta eat. You'll be sorry about this, scab. Count on it. I don't talk to dead scabs. Scab, keep moving. Huh. Don't think anyone's ever apologized for stealing my stuff before. You know what? We're square. I'll tell the others to leave you alone, too. Don't worry about it. Now you want to buy something this time? or anything to sell. My p partner does that. What? Um... I'm the 
guard? So don't steal anything. I'm watching you. Time to press ahead. Please, let us through. It is... Let my daughter go right now! She's a thief, Hellspawn. And you will wait for Corga's judgment. Now get back! Ugh! Let me through, Radrashev, or I'll rip your damn throat out! <gasps> We need to get Arabella out, now! You heard the guards. They're waiting on Corker to give word. I'd sooner trek through the Nine Hells than trust that snake! Ugh. Arabella tried to steal their idol. Druids lost their damn minds about it. They need it for their precious ritual. Oh, it's all my fault. I told her I wished the wretched thing would just disappear, or better yet, explode. Now Arabella's being judged by a bunch of druids who hate us. That's not right. She was caught. Foolish child. Let them judge her. We'll figure something out. We always do. Speaking of, we don't have time to gabber. You'd best move on. I should speak up. Lives are at stake, and the cowards only care about their bloody rituals. I'd rather you not get eaten by a bear. We could help each other, fight the goblins together. Instead, these fools are trying to chase us away. Those dirt kissers would let us die for the sake of their bloody grove. Come, Magrin, give him a chance. You, step back. We'll not tolerate drow in here. and Magrim will tear you open like a sack of grain. Keep back! Force my hand and I'll show you its claws. A moment, Giona. What? Why would she allow one of them? I... I suppose so. You! Apparently Korga wants to see you. Go ahead, but a word of warning. One wrong move, and every single animal here will tear you apart. Would that we could speak freely, my Ursine friend. Alas, I've never learned to converse with your kind. Mm. Yes, yes, I'm quite aware. eyes to save me a drow here forgive my surprise it's rare to find your kind above ground rare and intriguing on a day already packed with intrigue you were at the gates just now no when the goblins came you saw them up close a few questions if you please there's no overstating my interest Glory. Now then, how would you describe that particular batch of goblins? Uh, size, nature, distinguishing qualities? You search your mind, successfully recalling various details of goblin behavior. Goblins, word of rare jam-colored hue, and wielded magic blowguns. A myth-weaver. 
This man has no respect for truth. And the dragon they had marching in the rear, was it of the brass or silver variety? A gold dragon! How marvelous. Thank heaven you were here to specify, or I might have recorded a bold-faced lie. Last question, then you'll be quite free. Did the attackers rally to the Absolute when they fell upon the gates? They did, didn't they? Oh, oh curious. Oh, curious indeed. I've interrogated one. A captive in this very camp. She reports they've abandoned their god, Maglaviet, in favor of someone called the Absolute. The scandal! Oh, I'd imagine him quite displeased. Since their change in allegiance, these goblins are informed by a kind of strategy anathema to their kind. I, for one, Intend to get to the bottom of it. I'm just preparing to head to their camp as we speak, in fact. If you'll excuse me, I ought not to dawdle. Oh, never you mind. Who needs mercy when you've a quick tongue, hmm? And an invisibility potion stashed in your back pocket. Until we meet again. Ah, my grizzled friend. What can you tell me about this place? Mm. Yes, yes, I see. And is that her with two eyes or one? I must prepare to travel. Good day, my friend. To the goblins camped nearby, of course. I've been tracing their doings with great care. Whoever this absolute they're worshipping might be, I'll be the first to write about it. In umbram cretus, sanguine euratus.
I've never learned to converse with your kind. Yes, yes, I'm quite aware. At the ready. Is someone singing? It's beautiful. melody plays above the waves, beckoning you, drowning out all logical thought. The suffocating yearning suddenly fades as the spell breaks. You are free.
best be on my way. Foul wing shot. Your tricks will cost you. Make way. On the move. Do the unexpected. Ah. Mercon, I... Oh, no. I... I had to get the gold from the nest. Mole will be so mad. I got to go. Wait, um... You should meet Mole. She'll be grateful you helped me. Find a boy called Donny. 
Tell him you want to see the dragon's lair. On my way. Let's have a look. What's hiding here? <laughs> That's curious. The Githyanki people have a word for men like the Blade of Frontiers. Shalak. Roughly translated, idealist do-gooder. Or better yet, benevolent burden. His confidence is an asset. His pursuit of valor, not so much. Entirely. I was as devoted to my studies as I was to my training. Each crash contains a Sathisk purification device. So I learned from the writings in the Kaleer Library. The library was a gift from Vlakith herself, that we may gain total understanding. Countless scholars roam the astral sea and beyond, observing the ways of our lessers, Exploring planes so distant, order turns to chaos, and cold fires rage. The planes are ever quaking, and their peoples ever shifting. The Githyanki possess an eternity of knowledge. Yet we still collect more. Infinities upon infinities. I have a confession. I was too hasty to judge you. I thought you witless, gutless, unimpressively bland. Yes, all that is true. I am cold as the sea of night. But you have stoked fires I didn't know I possessed. I swear. You would tear the horns off one dragon for plunging into another. You've gained my respect, 
and more still, my yearning. When I come near, your odor alone is enough to make my neck sweat and my hair stand on end. Good. I want to taste you. Perhaps tonight, perhaps later, but I want it all the same. Do you? Yes. Perhaps one night soon, I will come to your bunk and take what is mine. Until that night comes, I shall keep enjoying your scent. Something the matter? Fine. What's on your mind? I must admit, you've been a surprise. And not an unpleasant one. Kindred spirits are few and far between for me. Besides, you saved my life aboard the Nautiloid. How can I do anything but sing your praises? Must we? No harm in a little mystery, don't you think? I should hope not. Have you ever heard the people who want to talk about themselves? I'm doing you a favor. <laughs> Sweet of you, but don't worry. I'm sure you'll get to know me just fine by traveling together. No need for interrogations just yet. Thank you. I'm sure we'll get along perfectly well. Need something? Chuck, be wary of false promises. The missing druid, Halsin, was it? He may be talented, but only a Githyanki Zathis can cleanse an embedded tadpole. If you must know, Vlekith requires everything of her children. I can't count how many bruises I've inflicted. Can't measure how much blood I've drawn in the Undying Queen's name. I know only blood red and death black. My mind is silver, and my body steel. I am what I must be. Say what I must be. To survive every beast I face and every wound I bear. So, you know about these parasites. Will we survive them? Only if my people extract them. The only other cure is the blade. Okay. Wonderful.
How much farther can I go? The first time I saw you, I figured you a champion. A man of valor, integrity. But you seem intent on proving me wrong. A fine evening, don't you think? The moonlight shines warmly on us. The breeze caresses our faces. Hideous. All of it. Would that I were doing battle up there, among the tears. Look above. Watch the moon cross the sky. The tears follow behind it. Rocky bodies tumbling through the sea of night. One of them is my crash. Clear. Your curiosity is to be commended. Githyanki are hatched in creches all throughout realm space. Clear is one of many. It's there I first saw a Kithrak mount a red dragon. Where I slit my cousin's throats at the Vaj's command. But enough of this. You are wasting your resting time. Come dawn, we resume our search for a crash. Speak. Sarcasm at the ready. A tingle runs through your head and down to your feet. Ah, there it is. That shiver. Our little brainworms have made fast friends, it would seem. How do you feel? <laughs> Surprising is just the word, isn't it? Before the Elithid's unscheduled surgery, I'd felled hundreds of beasts and a fair few fiends. The tadpoles weakened me, suppressed greater talents, but beyond that, I've showed no signs of turning. No nausea, no pain, not even a hot flash. Indeed. Perhaps the worm's vat was poisoned. Perhaps we're uncommonly fit. Or perhaps the tadpoles are merely on holiday. We could conjecture all night. I suppose the why doesn't matter so much as the what next. And that answer is plain as the horns on a war devil's head. We get these things out. Let's get some rest. Dawn comes sooner than we think. The Blade of Frontiers at your calling. My father once said, one does not pursue a champion's life. One merely answers its call. So it was for me. I was hunting near the Cloakwood when I heard it. A child crying out from a lone farmstead. I found him in the fields flanked by goblins. His mother's corpse bled into the soil next to him. I don't remember much of the battle, but I remember drying the boy's tears after. I left him with his uncles. Five years on and he's flourishing. If only every child was so lucky. I mourn the ones I could never save, whose cries I never heard. In the boy's tears, I finally saw the suffering wrought by the villains of the wild. The frontiers demanded a blade, and so I heeded. Baldur's Gate, born and raised, the only son of a single father. He wanted one life for me. I chose another. We haven't spoken since I left the city. A classic drama. <laughs> a staunch father and his rebellious son. Better heard from the bard's lips than mine. A most vicious one, in fact. It's made from pure bloodstone, carved from the Galena Mountains just north of the Moon Sea. A reminder that sometimes blood must be shed and sacrifices must be made. Ah. But that story is reserved for lifetime friends and calmer days. By all means. 
Anything more we should discuss? Karlak's fires raged in Baldur's Gate before she escaped to Avernus, as my source told it. And she was planning to return. One of the Archdevil's Ariel's own. Chaos incarnate, a devil with pure fire for a heart. I made my way to Avernus to stop her. She fled from my reach, even climbed aboard the Mind Flayer ship as it screeched through the hells. I followed in close pursuit. I can't bear to imagine the lives Karlak might be taking, the damage she might be doing. A powerful friend with a keen interest in... privacy. I'm sworn to say no more. All right. Anything more we should discuss? <laughs> I've come to know a fair few village clerics, but none with the skill to pull these worms from our heads. From what I understand, there's a healer called Nettie in the grove. Perhaps she's got the talent. We should pay her a visit. I've known a few warlocks in my time. Talented, of course, though sometimes too eager to listen to the devils on their shoulders. Comes with the territory, unfortunately. You know, I've been thinking, reflecting on what tomorrow might bring when we meet this goblin priestess. Will she know how to bring the worm under control? Will this little adventure of ours be over? <laughs> Why not? You've been to the hells and back. Survived the crash. Survived everything that's followed. I'm not easily impressed by people, but you're stronger than I gave you credit for. Yes. We're more similar than I thought. Hmm? Oh, um, I was leagues away. I just need to get some air, clear my head. I'll see you later, I'm sure. Sleep tight. The leader of the pack comes to chat. What's on your mind? You must be pleased to have a clear path forward. The sooner we find this priestess gut, the better. Can't wait to get rid of this thing in my head. Head to Baldur's Gate. Someone's waiting for me. Let a girl have some secrets. Was there anything else? You find a current of hope flowing through her thoughts. She believes you all have a real chance. She's anxious to find this person in Baldur's Gate. Whoever it is has a stronghold over her and can give her something she desperately wants. Yes, vastly so. But I don't want to talk about her. Not right now. It's a beautiful night. I think I'll stay up to enjoy it while I still can. Rest well. Not this one. Nor this one. And this one are less worthy still. I riddle thee not. I speak only what requires telling. 
Beyond mortal realms, there doth exist an amalgamation of spirits akin to thine own, ensnared by the treacherous cult of the Absolute, felled in its name. They bear great discontentment with their destiny. For a mere pittance of coin, I might summon the worthiest among them to lend aid to thy undertaking. Most willingly, forsooth. Their passions doth run deep for what hath been wrought upon them. Suspicion always haunts the guilty mind. My services are all that I can proffer thee. What thou wilt do with them is for thee to undertake. Speak. to sate you and be sated I lead you follow so you think let's see if you're right gith train relentlessly we know our bodies inside and out Let me show you. Close your eyes and submit. You awake in pain. Your back, your hands, even your tongue ache. It's time to rise. Dawn is upon us. Of course you did. I'm as extraordinary in bed as I am on the battlefield. My hunger is sated for now, yes. I might even lay you again, should my whims so take me. Up now. Your moment's over. Every breath, every blink proves exhausting. A long day awaits you. Curious. I drained you dry, yet your body seems no more worse for wear. Perhaps I might find use for it again. Perhaps if I'm in need of relief. Until then, I'll enjoy watching you squirm from the anticipation of it. Thank you. 
pain will fade away. Words of mine will change. No. Become. Oh. Words of mine will turn to ash when you call the last light down. Repay. Rest and know that I will pray. Farewell, my dear old friend. Wait, that's it. Support the stars tonight, smile and pain will fade away. Words of mine will turn to ash when you call the last light down. Moon reminds me of your grace, all the love I can't repay. Rest and know that I will pray, farewell my dear old friend. Thank you. I was having trouble finding the words. It's been so long since I... since... sorry. Damn it! I don't usually. I'm all right. I haven't finished a song since Lihala died. I haven't played at all, if I'm honest. She was playing her lute. We didn't hear the gnolls coming. There was so much blood. Uh, I can still smell it. Thanks. Lehala made me love music. The sound.
sound, the feel, the thrill. But when she died, it was gone. Until now, I'd forgotten what it was like. That itch in my fingers to perfect a song. The Weeping Dawn will be my gift to her. Thank you. I... I needed this. It's still rough, but my song is getting there. If not over, then through. Hey, you're back. Look to buy, sell, or what? Seems like a good moment to talk. something but you can't make any sense of it mm. he nods then reaches for a concealed hatch His eyes flicker to yours for an instant, then away, as if it hurts to look at you. Well, look who's come to visit. My kids say you've been busy since you got here. Mercon says you got him out of a tight spot with some harpies. Gotta say, I'm impressed. I appreciate you teaching Mattis a lesson, too. 
kid should be more careful with his rings. And we're happy to be helped. Now, what can I do for you? Making sure we're ready to leave when the time comes. I do, as a matter of fact. Revenge. I want to steal that big, shiny idol they're all chanting at. The important thing is to get it away from them. That ritual's gonna get us all killed. And we can sell it once we get to the city. Thing like that's gotta be worth a small fortune. Sure. When we sell it in the city, I'll make sure you get your cut. Be careful. They look as brittle as old bark. But they're vicious. Anything else? Anything else? You've been a friend to us. Come back any time. Never see us coming. You don't look so tough. Mull thought of a hobgoblin all by herself. Maybe I get to run the ring scam. Don't be need to practice. You'll be out there soon enough. I bet that's... You came! I have... Here! Mull said I should thank you properly for the harpies. So I wrote you a story. It's about you. I hope you like it. gonna be like you someday killing all the scary monsters mm, better not be cursed sorry about the nest you're the first grown-up who's ever gotten in here. Not bad. Be patient. We'll get there. Looking for steel? I have, well, something close. Speak. 
The bird knows. She needs to know. You do not. Is my brethren. More follow Korga every day. They are afraid, and she offers a simple solution. Eject the refugees, and we will be safe. It searches for news of Master Hulsen. Only he can set this right. If he is gone, well, pray that he is not. The ritual is Korgus' decision, but she is not our leader. Master Halsin welcomes the refugees in. I wait for him to resolve this. Please! I'm sorry. This is madness, Korga. She's just a... A what, Wrath? A thief? A poison? A threat? I will imprison the devil. And I will cast out every stranger. Girl, you mean parasite. She eats our food, drinks our water, then steals our most holy idol in thanks. Wrath, lock her up. She remains here until the rite is complete. And keep still, devil. Tila is restless. Come, Koga. We took back the idol. Surely... Do it. The words of the Tree Father, spoken plain. It is as you say. Sivisif, Tila, to me. <laughs> Out, thief. My grace has its limits. <laughs> it hurts. Thank you, Korga. Master Halsin. Halsin isn't here. Keep his name off your tongue, lest Tila pierce it. I know that look. You're wondering why I was in pain before. Let's just clear the air about that now. It's just an old wound that hurts me from time to time. Nothing to be concerned about. It's nothing to do with the tadpoles, at least, in case your imagination is in danger of getting away from you. It's just something I have to live with. Quite a lot, if I'm being honest. But it always passes quickly, so I can manage. Positive. You can trust me on that. A deep elf. In our grove, on this day. A sign, or rather, a gift. Who better to understand a watchful broodmother than a beloved child of Loth? And yet you petitioned on the thief's behalf. 
A curious display of mercy. A viper bears her fangs defending her brood. Is it not her nature to strike at invaders? I took back the idol of Sylvanus. And the rite is resumed. We will seal the grove. Free from harm. Free of intruders. And mine perish if he stays. You showed great metal at the gate. The metal of a skilled sword for hire. I want you to provide your services to Sevlor. Offer to guide the Outlanders out of the grove. I'm sure they'll reward you well. They're to be gone before final prayer. If they are not, the Viper must strike. Then they soon know the sting of my venom. Get out. We have no more business. Please leave. Our hospitality has limits, and they were crossed long ago. You did well to speak up for the girl. That snake is fickle. A tragedy prevented. Nothing befitting a child. Nothing befitting any of our world's creatures. We've let a snake replace our leader. She will see the tieflings driven out, or worse. Ah, I see. You will find her deeper in the caves. Master Halsin. Perhaps Goblin Court, perhaps dead. He'd set Mistress Korga back in line. Hold her to task. Stop this damned ritual. More will die if the rite is finished. So many more, sent into a world gone mad. Would you? I would give anything to see Halsin return home. Our need is great. I will open the treasures of this grove to you, even if the Circle forbids it. Halsin is an elf with the presence of a bear. He left west with the adventurers. You won't mistake the first druid for anyone else. Thorv's fur bristles. He wants to jump. Wants to bite. His eyes dart back and forth as he sniffs the air. He can't see them anymore, but he can smell them. Many, many strangers. The wolf bares his teeth. He doesn't take orders from you. He would chase you down if not for his master. Until Master Halston returns, my eyes must stay on Korga. Come, Silver. Stay close. Something good here, I hope. They did a number on you, didn't they? Does that hurt? I see you. Just give me a moment. This medicatrix. There. It's up to her now. Life or death. Now, what? Trow. Last time I saw one of you folk, he tried to slit me open. I hope you're more agreeable. 
That's neither here nor there. Look, you obviously want something. What is it? You found her, but I still don't know what she can do for you. Why are you asking? Did it look like a tadpole? But from your worst nightmare? All slime, teeth and tentacles? That's... a serious condition. Come, follow me. I might be able to help. We need to be quick. This way. The bird's eyes are glassy. It's breathing weak. Head on in. There's something in that vessel. Don't worry about him on the table. I'm not in the habit of killing Drow. He attacked Master Halson and I in the woods. Leading a pack of goblins. Tadpole crawled out of his head soon after. Seems so. Gave Master Halson a right start. It's why he joined the adventurers on their expedition. To find out what was happening. A pity you got me instead of him. He understands these things. Studied them. Still, we have options. You don't have to be here for this. No, I'll stay. I'd rather know exactly what you're up to. All right. Let's see what we can do. She shifts uneasily, hesitating. Something's off. It might. But first things first. Tell me about your symptoms. Have you noticed anything strange happening? I'm telling you everything you need to know. Believe me on that. I want to help you. But I can't unless you work with me. So, has anything unusual happened to you? Protected from on high? Sounds like the drow. Master Halson said he was tougher than he had any right to be. How'd you pick up the parasite? Halson was desperate to find where all this was happening. A mind flare ship? But Master Halson was sure. Look, you've been straight with me, so I'll be straight with you. You're dangerous. If you transform here, we're all dead. But you seem like a good soul. You deserve a chance to save yourself. This is a vial of wyvern poison. Swear to me. You'll swallow it if you feel any symptoms. The thorn? Coated in a fatal toxin. It was a last resort, in case I couldn't trust you. I don't have a cure. Only a way out. I'm sorry for misleading you, but I had to be sure you weren't a threat before I told you everything. Now, do I have your word or not? Swear it. I hope it doesn't come to that, but thank you. Here. You know, I've spent my life treating folk and never once saw a mind flare infection. Then suddenly, there's dozens of you. Maybe more. Master Halson and I were tracking them, studying them, trying to figure out what the hell was going on. Because you should all be changing. There should be a small army of mind flayers out there. But you're not. 
Weird powers aside, you seem perfectly normal. For one, that thing in your head is like nothing we've ever seen from Mind Flayers. It's one of their worms for sure. But this one gives you powers, telepathic connections, and it doesn't turn you into one of them. Not yet, anyhow. Could be, but there's a lot we don't know. Infected, folks like you, have been converging on an old temple of Saluna, and I've no idea why. When Master Halson heard the adventurers were heading that way, he saw a chance to get answers, joined on the spot. Whatever he found there, he didn't make it back. I've sent birds to find him, but the place is rotten with goblins. And if my birds can't get close, what chance do I have? You, though, you're one of them. Technically speaking, I mean. They won't kill someone carrying their parasite. If you can find Halson and get him out of there, we can discover what he learned. And perhaps he can save your life. How's that sound? The way I see it, you have two options. Halson, or that wyvern poison. I don't envy your choice, truly. But this is the hand fate's dealt you. I can't make any promises. This is like nothing we've seen before. But I know this for sure. Master Halson is the only one close to understanding these things. He's your best bet to survive. Otherwise, that vile's your only option. Thank you. It would mean everything to the Grove. To me. I wish I could tell you more. But only those adventurers know what happened out there. All I can say for sure is they all went to the old temple of Saluna. And Master Halson didn't make it back. Good luck out there. And if things start to go bad, remember the vial. Remember your oath. One step at a time, Nettie. Come on. Why poison? Ha! It'll take more than a nasty drink to finish Lazel and Crash Kalir. Better a quick draft than Ceramorphosis, nonetheless. Trade it to the nearest quartermaster for a better weapon. It looks like you could use one. Looks like Halcyn's our best bet for a cure. We gain nothing by chasing strangers. Only a gift Yankee Crash holds our cure.
must be on my way. Something over there. Hmm? Hardly a chance. I can't even see a lot to pick. Take it one step at a time, Nettie. Come on. I wish I had a bag of holes. This will all be over. The ritual's almost finished. What have you tried to steal from us? The game! We've shown them once. We take Grove Law seriously. By letting that child escape without consequence. We might as well have lain on the ground and let them trample us. What's in here? Well, hello. What if Halson is... No. Don't go there. Just out of view. I don't need any attention right now. How much farther can I go? Just want a little look. Keep your hands to yourself. You're being watched. Moving in. Just out of view. That's a friendly looking shadow.
ridiculous. We just let her run off. She's a child. A devil child. One who tried to steal from us. Yet she failed. That's what matters. Seems simple enough. What will the tieflings want next? Letting the hell child go was a mistake. Your light fingers have attracted attention. It seems an explanation may be in order. Talked your way out of this one, but there will be no repeat performance. <clears throat> Let's see what this does. I'm gonna 
cut the heads off your kids, and your birdies, and your dogs. Bloody teeth everywhere. Ready to go meet my tribe? Just say the word. Happily, lead the way. With haste. Glowing eyes are rarely a good sign. Best be careful. He's boring. Let's find another one. for a man wearing leaves. Maybe we can set him on fire. We should set the whole grove but did some fire. bleeding hearts show up to save the druid? I'll cut you to pieces. What are you doing? It's me, Sazza. You and them other idiots mucked up the old raid. The absolute don't like failures. I ain't a failure. I'll be an hero when I tell the boss about this place, and you'll be maggot food. I'll be telling the boss myself. Kill him! Yes, here.
make way. Moving. Make way. breaths are shallow, his wounds deep. He doesn't respond to your voice. Bloody teeth everywhere! We moving or what? Stay vigilant. There are traps here. Assume nothing. No one back home will ever believe this. 
someone there? Should be easy. Enough waiting. I crave blood. <clears throat> Moving in. Indolence breeds mm. madness. Securing. Indolence breeds madness. Without delay. I will not fall before my time. No one stopped me yet. So that's progress. These boots have seen everything. Thought I was never gonna get out of there. Good to be free again, gotta say.
I'll introduce you to my whole tribe and put in a good word for you. See you at the camp. Your kind will punish you for consorting with us. My name is Lazelk Chucky, and my kin will understand my need for servants. They will help you, but only if I ask. These pupils prove fragile. I have a mind to end their misery myself. Calm yourself. They're survivors, not soldiers. I fail to see the distinction. Don't touch me. Oh, action, not reaction. And these things have stayed interesting. It's broken, but not too badly. A tidy slot, but no room. can search for you, Blazel. I know they do not. It is my responsibility to cleanse myself. They pursued the Nautiloid. Perhaps they were trying to free you. A vain notion. I am one of many and will not be a burden to my queen. Fill up ahead. Something's wrong. Shit. I won't have a word. You're a true soul. You can't die. Please stay with us. I, I don't think he's conscious. C can you hear us, Ed? You, not a step closer. A strange symbol glows marked on their flesh, and something within you stares in response. Sorry, it's our brother, True Soul Edwin. He's injured, and I... I wasn't thinking. Something stirs deep within you, hungry and alert. 
It's taking something you'll never get back. The injured man locks eyes with you. The parasite writhes in your head. Your minds intertwine. You see his siblings, Andrik and Brenner, new recruits, yours to shepherd. Protect them. Mind the true soul. He will. He. He. Edwin! Ed! Please! He's with the Absolute now. A true soul. Thank the Absolute. Edwin! Our brother. He was chosen. Like you. Do you have orders for us? We were reporting to Edwin. What? Are you... Are you testing us? The Absolute is our goddess. She's going to rip down the old world order, start a new one. Then we'll be the ones with the power. Well, you will firstly, true soul. You don't need me to explain that. A true soul, like you, has been chosen by the Absolute. You speak with her voice, and when the time comes, the true souls, you, will rule. Please. Any supposed new god would have an uphill battle. I'm sorry, true soul. I only repeated what I thought I knew. It seems the Absolute still has a great deal to teach me. I don't know any druids. We know that all too well, sir, but the Absolute sent us here. We're looking for fugitives, survivors from that ship that crashed farther west of here. We don't know what they look like, but anyone who survived that crash is bound to be injured. That's enough to get us started. The Absolute wants them found. At any cost. An oil bear. It had him on the ground before we had a chance to react. We managed to drag him away, but the beast's claws had already done their work. I told Edward not to look in that cave. It was filthy with oil bear tracks. What? It killed one of us. It killed Edwin. It's an enemy of the Absolute. You're right, sir. The beast must be destroyed. The cave is just ahead. It was too much for us before, but... But if you could help us, true soul, we may stand a chance. They spoke of the Absolute. Same as that goblin, Sazer. Curious. Looks like the Absolute's drawing all sorts to become followers. Impressive, in a way. So the tadpole gives us the ability to influence others. Ignore it. Deny it. This is nothing but a disease, and every use will sicken us further. T nonsense. Any power freely given is a power well received, and this is a valuable power indeed. It's only valuable if we understand it, and we don't. Not yet, at least. Sensible. Strange power resonates within the corpse. It calls to you. Your limbs move of their own accord. There's something of value, something your mind craves. Why let its host's memories go to waste? The tadpole has absorbed it all. Its experience could nourish you, strengthen you.
ghosts as soon as they need to. Vile parasite. Most pleasant traveling with company, if you ignore all the less pleasant aspects. I'll take that. Punish someone who wronged you. Wrong me how? Oh, say, murder or theft. Killing is good. It calls the weak. But theft would be paid for painfully, a thousand times over. Hmm. Good to know. Albert tracks. Its nest must be nearby. Bear prey, no doubt. The beasts ahead. We need to get closer. Feel the quake of its heavy footsteps before you see it. An owl bear, its beaked face looming out of the darkness.
looks from you to his dead mother. A single strike will end his suffering. You watch, speechless, as the cub begins to eat his mother. At least the cub has a fighting chance now. That, or we've just prolonged its misery. Mercy, of course. It's... dead. We couldn't have done it without you. Thank you. I wish Edwin were here. He would have been honored to fight alongside you. What would you have of us now, sir? Edwin told us there was a camp of faithful goblins nearby. We'll find safe harbor there. He'd want us among friends. Absolute protect you. Oblivious to your presence, the cub continues to gorge himself on his dead mother. An owlbear egg. These are supposed to be worth a fortune. Very well. I wish I had a bag of holding.
Looks like a shrine to Saluna over there. Sealed by magic. There's no smashing this open. Something over there. Just an old prayer. I'm ready. Whatever it takes. Salunite prayer. How useful. Oh, enough waiting. I crave blood. Some poem or prayer. Meaningless. The same symbol as the chest. A prayer to open it. I prefer a blood offering, but all right. Let's get going. Prayers are answered. You should leave it, or even destroy it if possible. This rubbish is an offering to Saluna. At best, it's worthless. At worst, who knows, could be cursed. Do not trifle with that moon witch or her trinkets. Only trouble will follow. for a couple of coins. Ah, it hurts. As well, I hope, aside from the obvious. All's well, I hope, aside from the obvious. Whatever comes, I'm ready. Can't give up now. I wasn't expecting it. But I'm glad to have some company on this journey. I don't know what you mean. It's nothing, really. You're not going to let this go, are you? You might wish you had. I worship Shah, the mistress of the night. It is my holy mission to oppose Saluna, her teachings and her followers. <laughs> it hurts. Now that you have the truth, 
Please don't make a big fuss about it. True. I didn't think you'd react so pragmatically. Perhaps I should have told you sooner. Gladly. The wound on my hand. It never quite heals. And sometimes it causes terrible pain to rip through me. It's my burden, though, from Lady Shah. I can feel her influence somehow. I cannot say. Not with what I can recall. But even then, it would not be for me to question her will. Lady Shah has her reasons. I'll try my best. But secrecy is ingrained in me. Lady Shah considers it greater protection than any shield or armor. Difficult to say. Sometimes I wonder if it's supposed to be guiding me, punishing me, testing me. But perhaps it's none of those. Perhaps it's completely random. I'd like to hope there's more to it than that. Some meaning that Lady Shah will reveal to me when the time is right. Until then, all I can do is endure. It's less difficult than you might imagine, when you can't remember life without it. Pain is sacred to followers of Lady Shah. Pain will give way to loss and then to the peace of her eternal darkness. You can tolerate a great deal of suffering so long as it has meaning. I'm sure you do. But please try to understand that it's not something I can just talk about freely. there's potential in you. Let's see how you handle this. I am indeed a disciple of Shah, mistress of the night and lady of loss. I assume you've heard of her? My lady Shah is the night singer, the patron of darkness and loss. Most fear the dark, like children. Because in darkness, they see their fears reflected. But Shah teaches us to step beyond fear, beyond loss. In darkness, we do not hide. We act. Pain, hope, the promise of better days. All of these are heavy cloaks that bend our backs and burden our hearts. We shed those cloaks. Before Shah, we stand gloriously naked. Beyond the vanities of mortals. We tear down the lies the world is drunk on. The institutions they trust, the so-called gods they worship, the lives they cling to. We destroy false idols, topple corrupt organizations, fight heretics wherever they're found. There's often suffering, death even. Many people break before they embrace Shah's truths.
curious. Most are afraid of my lady. I think I did well by joining you. Most agreeable company. You already know my biggest secrets. What more can you ask? She took me in when no one else would. Without her, I wouldn't be alive. She's my mother. She nurtures me, cares for me, loves me. Don't believe the lies the Saloonites tell. What, besides my life's calling and the greatest problem I've ever faced? Well, I like night orchids and can't swim. Is that the sort of thing you meant? It's a deal. No. I can't. I mean, I literally can't. There's certain things I can't remember right now. Shah's secrets must be preserved above all else. All who worship her know this. I have had certain memories suppressed. Voluntarily. So that I can serve Shah without compromising her. If I manage to return to Baldur's Gate and fulfill Shah's mission, then my memories will be restored. Of course. It is an act of faith, not to be undertaken lightly. Shah will reward me when I succeed. Fine. What's on your mind? Does it even need to be asked? We're beyond me merely liking you. I think I'm a different person owing to you. If not over, then through. But that will fit in my pack. Your sour face is tiring, Shadowheart. By all means, leave if I am so distasteful. I'd rather not turn my back on you, if it's all the same. Never wanted the easy part. No, curse to put my hands on everything. An empty mind flare vessel. If its occupant survived, then nowhere to be seen. Oh, enough waiting. I crave blood. Swift as my feet can carry me.
strange. It looks healthy, but it's stone dead. Who cares about some pig? It's dead. Let's go. The pig's dead, my friend. Staring at it won't bring it back. Come on. We'll never fix these brain worms if we stop and gawk at every piece of carrion you find. The boar seems to be fresh, only a few hours dead. Examining the corpse, you see two small puncture wounds in its neck. And is it dead enough for you? It's been drained of blood with wounds in its neck. It's been killed by a vampire. I didn't want to say anything because I didn't want to worry you. They are ferocious creatures. But don't worry. I'll keep watch tonight. We won't have to worry about nocturnal visitors. Now please, let's go. Let's get going. Should mind my step. Thought you was busy with the foul bloods in Elson's Grove. Not no more. The contract didn't mention no goblins. I would have prepped the lads, brought better weapons. Wasn't no few goblins, mate. There's an entire hive of them. Contract failed to mention that part. The kind that leaves half your crew dead. There's a wizard in Baldur's Gate that'll pay gobloads for a relic, supposedly buried round these parts. But gold ain't any use if you're too cold to spend it. It's called the Night Song. Supposed to be hidden under the temple where the goblins jumped us. I'd give you a map of the temple and wish you a happy funeral. But my mate Brian kept hold of it like his own sodger. 
Goblins made sure to the fat old chunk. All I've got's the contract. Can show you where we turn back. If you feel like dying. As soon as he heard we had a contract to find that night song relic, he was more eager than a hound in heat. When the goblins jumped us, most of my crew scarpered, just like I taught them to. The old codger didn't. Yeah, and I'd do the same again. It weren't my responsibility. If you want to play the hero, go ask the goblins nicely. And maybe they'll give you whatever's left of him. Come on. We're wasting time. But that will fit in my pack. If not over, then through. about Baldur's Gate. The food. Freshest fish I've ever had. I don't care for fish. Red meat. Now, that's a different matter. Rare as can be. Dripping. Well, unless we find a cure, you won't have any teeth to chew it with soon enough. Guard up with her. Note. You see a name etched into the leather. Scratch. He whines, but remains rooted by the corpse's side.
You fight well, but you're so efficient. Why not have a little fun? Fun? I fight to win, not to make spectacles. <sighs> what a waste. Sweetheart, perhaps? Not one in particular. The city is a veritable feast of sweethearts. You must be eager to get back then. Slimmer pickings out in this wilderness. Shadow Harp. Such a grim name for such a beautiful. I heard you mumbling that line to yourself earlier. It needs more work. Fortunate for his tongue, he didn't say it to me. I can smell trouble ahead. of the absolute about him. Apologies, your lordship. Hard making you out from a distance. Please, your greatness. Was an honest mistake, is all. You'll get no more trouble from us. Promise. Unless you like trash. Yeah. 
Let's have a look at myself. It says there's a cellar here somewhere. I don't see one. Slow down. Good enough.
Just another crazy. to break. Let's get on with it. Looking ahead. Have to keep going. Curious. Open up.
This'll do. No time to dally. I must keep going. Never a dull moment. Light on my feet. What's this? Within reach. Empty. Keep your distance, darling. A little souvenir. Empty. Time to press ahead. Deep and move. Action, not reaction. <laughs> My face protects me. Next. Something didn't like that. Thank <laughs> you. 
Sometimes the only way out is through. Can't afford to stay idle. I'm so tired. How do people do this all day? this way. Let's see what we have here. Eager for battle. Without delay. My faith will guide me. Breathing, despite everything, moving in. Wish I had a bag of holding. Open up.
Let's get going. Anything of use? Shah's blessings upon you. your back. Next, I wonder. On I go. to find a way forward.
haste. Should take that. Still alive, so that's progress. I'm ready. Whatever it takes. Might be useful. Looking ahead. Never want to be an easy call. Moonwitch rubbish. How much time did some dim-witted artisan waste on that? I wonder what the next move is. <clears throat> All right, what now? Breathe deep and in. Let's have a look. Best be on my way. Any of the lads give you trouble, they'll answer to me. Goblin seems unsure whether to bow to you or attack. What, what do you want? Or, oh, I, I mean, uh, what do you need? Um, you are blessed, ain't ya? A true soul? The mark glows, but you feel nothing in response. Your illithid power is beyond reach until you rest. Oh, 
pardon sir didn't mean to doubt you i know my place well that's that we'll be on our way do as you like with the pipsqueak the goblins slink backwards afraid to take their eyes off you uh ask the pipsqueak on the spinny tower we're out of here all right then fresh meat scared meat yes Shadowheart's attention is fixed on a damaged old statue. We... we should keep moving. You already know as much as I do. Best ignore it. As long as it doesn't hamper us too much. Have to keep pushing. Another step forward. All's well that ends. Not as bad as it could have. Me loose! Free me and find out! Oh, bag of Kamara. There's pustulant thugs! Well, get on with it. I'm a deep gnome, you're a drow. You helped me, now you plan to enslave me. What then? You're teasing me now. I'm certain of it. Take my pack if you can find it. The only reason those goblins caught me was its weight. I'll travel lightly from now on. Ignorance is alive and well, it seems. 
Deep gnomes aren't restricted to the Underdark, you know. I've lived in Baldur's Gate for years. I'm in search of a friend. I fear he's in trouble. See this? I gave it to him years ago before I left home. I found it around the neck of a thug in the lower city. It was speckled with blood. My friend, nowhere to be found. But I still have hope. I have reason to believe he's in the Underdark. Hopefully I'll pick up his trail from there. I always help my friends. On that note, <clears throat> I bid thee farewell. If we should meet again, well, we will have met again. Hmm. Let's try this way. Shouldn't have wished to live in more interesting times. Time to press ahead. to do. What do we have here? No one back home will ever believe this. Weapon blueprints. A master blacksmith's work. Simple ink work. Simple design. Hardly the pinnacle of metal craft. What path lies before me? From an overgrowth of moss, the well looks unremarkable. Dry stones line the wall. At the bottom, something gleams in the dappled light. Empty. 
Hello, your high and mightiness. Welcome to Bogrot. Hmm. A game for surface children. Missing children. Maggie Terrence, Marcus Terrence, Mathen Deach, Rochelle Kirk. Follow the sense of blood and gold to all lands fertile, friend. And this land proves particularly fruitful. I've no use for the Absolute, or any god. I follow two masters only. Gluttony and greed. The goblins understand my appetites. They sate my hunger for gold, and the rest sate my hunger for meat. Boss Goblin give gold, we check brand, good deal. No talk. I am, by all accounts, a student of higher commerce and extortion. Make me an offer. Tempt me.
acid motion and a boon to my aching belly. We have a deal, my tasty kibble. Take my bone horn. One blow and the ground will quake with my family name. Use it when the need arises and never a moment before. Ogre kill everyone around, then Ogre eats them. Well spoken, indeed. Ogre kill everyone around. We will keep close. When you are ready, sound the horn. reaction. That might be worth a look. Shall we? Someone's diary. Might explain what happened here. Can't give up now. What now? goes nothing. These boots have seen everything. Hey, boss. Not see your sort around these days. Hmm. Just scraping up some pieces, Majesty. Uh, don't mind me. Something good here, I hope. What a day. Don't mind if I do.
Wonder if the gods are watching. <laughs> for letter writing. Refrain from detailing my conquests, lest you die of embarrassment. Well, that ends not as bad as it could have. Don't waste the step. Mm. 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 Careful. 
Marvel. I buy it. A feast fit for an ogre. You notice a peculiar dagger protruding from the tough, leathery meat. For an ogre, you notice a peculiar dagger protruding from the tough, leathery meat. You yank the dagger free leaving a narrow slit behind. Only the sharpest teeth could pierce it. Madness breeds madness. Mystery meat. Mystery meat. Proceeding. Your distance, darling. Is that blood? No, never mind. Moving in. My, my, what manner of place is this? A path to redemption? Or a road to damnation? Hard to say, for your journey is just beginning. What would suit the occasion? Hmm. The words to a lullaby, perhaps. The mouse smiled brightly. It outfoxed the cat. Then down came the claw, and that, love, was that. <laughs> they do know how to write them in Cormir, don't they? Well met, I am Raphael, very much at your service. Neither, the fox, rather, hiding, in a word. A silent observer, about to break the silence. Of course, what I have to say merits some privacy, as well as some more... Let's call it... Refinement. This quaint little scene is decidedly too middle of nowhere for my tastes. Come. There, middle of somewhere. The house of hope, where the tired come to rest and the famished come to feed lavishly. 
go on. Partake. Enjoy your supper. After all, it might just be your last. <laughs> Are you not entertained? Well, far be it from me to disappoint. What's better than a devil you don't know? <laughs> a devil you do. Am I a friend? Potentially. An adversary? Conceivably. But a savior? That's for certain. Come now, why play hard to get when you're in deep over your tadpole head? One skull, two tenants, and no solution in sight. I could fix it all like that. And what is madness but a denial of reality? Still, I have a feeling you change your mind before it's changed for you. Try to cure yourself. Shop around. Beg, borrow, and steal. Exhaust every possibility until none are left. And when hope has been whittled down to the very marrow of despair, that's when you'll come knocking on my door. Hope. <laughs> Such a tease. <laughs> I've always wondered what a laughing mind flayer sounds like. All those pretty little symptoms, sundering skin, dissolving guts, they haven't manifested yet, have they? One might say, you're a paragon of luck. I'll be there when it runs out. Devil Raphael flaunts his paltry wings as if he wants to impress us. You saw the red dragon slaying his infernal kin above hell's fires, did you not? Next to a dragon, the devil's a gnat. When I am Kithrak, I will take my queen Vlakith his head as a trophy. Githyanki Knights, the riders that chase the Nautiloid. They are the commissars and enforcers of my Queen Vlakith's will. Vlakith bestows no greater honor. To wield a Kithrak silver sword is my destiny. I will earn my Queen's favor, and I will conquer every layer of hell should she command it. The Geich are my kind's mortal enemy. It is not unusual for the Kithrak to give chase, to penetrate the Hells. This is unusual. But I'm not one to question the wisdom of my queen. I can see but to the horizon. Vlakith's sight pierces the many planes. Bloody Hells. Literally. Just when I think I've got a grasp on our dilemma, a devil shows up. <sighs> no matter. We've dealt with every other oddity thrown at us lately. We can handle this one, too. Now, as for this Raphael... He knows our secret. He claims he can help. What do you make of him?
no doubts at all. He seemed powerful and very knowledgeable about our problem. Not the worst prospect we've stumbled across. As long as you can look past what he is. Anticipation. She is testing me somehow. About Raphael. Actually, yes, you're right. Very intuitive. Clearly the devil was trying to sow doubt among us. He's clever. My order uses the same tactic when dealing with enemies of Shah. You don't need a scourge or a rack to break people. Fear and self-doubt is sufficient. When actual pain comes, the victim's already done the heavy lifting for their torturer. There were no right answers with that devil. He was toying with his food. Us. Aren't you glad that I am? It's an effective trick. Watch out for it. And for Raphael. <laughs> now there's a bloody devil trailing after us. Well, this gets better and better. Shop around, he said. He seems sure we won't find anything. And he might be right. We've had no luck so far. Maybe. But all that, take your time, I'll wait, nonsense. He's playing with us. He reminds me of, well, someone I used to know. Someone I like to play with people. Creatures like them don't play games unless they know they can win. Maybe. But he's not the only one spinning a web for us. This is no ordinary Mind Flayer parasite. Who tampered with it and why? What do they have planned for us? And why are we important enough that a devil comes knocking on our door? If we find those answers, we might have a chance. The devil with the silver tongue. An old fairy tale my father read to me. The kind with a hero, a villain, and a moral. A farmer made a deal with the devil, so the story goes. In exchange for the farmer's dearest fruit, the devil granted him a bottomless coin purse. The farmer's dearest fruit, naturally, was no apple nor peach but his beloved daughter. We can learn a lot from fairy tales, don't you think? Refuse him no matter how tempting the offer, no matter how delicious the feast he lays out for you. The cost's always too great. 
That's because you still have hope. But when he becomes your last hope, remember this. He'll require of you only what you're least ready to part with. And then require more still. You might think you'd give up anything for a cure. But the devil won't take just anything. He'll take everything. Well met. Do you feel as flattered as I do? Fight it to dine with a devil. <laughs> Don't let his bluster fool you. All that talk of desperation merely illustrates his own. I think he wants something from us badly. And in that knowledge lies our opportunity. Our souls. But I suspect that's but his opening offer. Let me play the devil's advocate. The man is too eager. Do not dismiss his offer out of hand. If there's one quality all the denizens of the hells embody, it's ambition quality they share with many humans, come to think of it. Admittedly, it's an area in which I have a modicum of expertise. And, based on the evidence before us, it's hard to imagine any other motivation. Fact one, there's something very strange and very powerful about our tadpoles. Fact two, a devil offers to take it away. Devils aren't known to aid mortals out of simple kindness. Whatever Raphael wants, we must be the key to getting it, along with our tadpoles. So, we say for now, we wait. If I'm right, Raphael will seek us out again, and when he does, there's a mighty bargain to be made. Remember his Cormirian rhyme? Down came the claw. Perhaps we should start growing our nails. I hear you did the deed. How was your little rock? You filthy devil. I'm shocked. I thought the two of you would just flop about like dying fish and then call it a night, but no. Shows me. Uh, but you're not here to gossip. What can I do for you? Shah's blessings upon you. Fine. What's on your mind? Fate spins along as it should. Dost thou require a new ally? Or mayhaps a resurrection? instead. Ah, someone had good taste in books. Or maybe a bit of a drinking problem.
finding a Sousa tree, the Underdark. don't sleep well, flitting between dreams and nightmares. Maybe you wake up because you know something is wrong, or maybe you just get lucky. Shit. No, no, it's not what it looks like, I swear. I, I wasn't going to hurt you, I, I just needed... Well, blood. There, in the dim firelight, you see him for what he really is. A vampire, a slave to sanguine hunger. It's not what you think. I'm not some monster. I feed on animals, boars, deer, kobolds, whatever I can get. I'm just too slow right now, too weak. If I just had a little blood, I could think clearer, fight better. Please. A strange sensation courses through you, and your companion's mind unfolds. Secrets half revealed. You focus on the source of the power, but it is quiet and still. It needs to rest. <laughs> At best, I was sure you'd say no. More likely, you'd ram a stake through my ribs. No. I needed you to trust me. And you can trust me. Because we don't have a choice. Not if we're going to save ourselves from these worms. I need you alive. You need me strong. Please, only be a taste, I swear. I'll be well, you'll be fine. And everything can go back to normal. No. No, of course. Silly of me to even ask. I'll go and find something on four legs to eat, I suppose. See you in the morning. 
You watch him stalk away, slumped, sulking, and ready to kill. On my way. Morning. I hope last night's little unpleasantness hasn't left a bad taste in your... Well, <laughs> I hope there are no bad feelings. Indeed it could. These are very helpful in a fight. Of course, I can't summon wolves or turn to mist like a true vampire. Being a spawn has its drawbacks. Oh no, I should be cinders in this light. I hadn't seen the sun for 200 years before we crashed here. Someone, or something, wants me alive. They've changed the rules. Standing in the sun, wading through a river, wandering into homes without an invitation. They're all perfectly mundane activities now. As for my other quirks, well, <laughs> we can figure those out in time. That's my theory, but who knows? I'm just glad you're being sensible about these... Uh, revelations. I was worried people might turn up with torches and pitchforks. Although there's still time. A vampire among us? So be it. But should I wake with so much as a drop of blood on my neck, I will end him. I'd just better not wake in the night to find fangs at my throat. Quite the opposite. I'm here in the spirit of openness and honesty to work together as a team. Fine. He stays till he's no longer of use. Besides, my flesh is not so easily tasted. Unless, of course, I have offered it. There now. We're all friends again. Shall we go? There's a long day ahead of us. Something's on my mind. Speak. Well, hello. What can I do for you? Why do you insist on exhuming the past? I was a slave. A vampire spawn. Kept by the Tsar family. Perhaps I still am. I was never able to resist their commands. But now... I've been conveniently lost. They won't ever control me again. It's simple. Just find a vampire that will drink your blood and turn you into a vampire spawn. Their obedient puppet. In theory, the next step is to drink their blood. Once you've done that, you're free and a true vampire. People think the biggest threat to a vampire is a cleric with a stake. It's not. The biggest threat to a vampire is another vampire. They're scheming, paranoid, power-hungry beasts. 
So why would any vampire give up control over a spawn to create a competitor? Trust me, it doesn't happen. I won't lie. It's tempting. If I keep the tadpole, I risk transforming into a grotesque monster. If I lose the tadpole, Cazador has control of me, body and soul. And I return to the shadows. It's grim either way. So why not sell what's left of my soul to a devil? Better he has it than Casador. You're familiar with the phrase, better the devil you know. I know, Casador. And I'll take anything that saves me from that. Lady of Sorrows, guide us. Did you want something? There's something I want to talk to you about. Something important. I could have died in that pod, back on the Nautiloid. You could have died, spending precious moments trying to free me, but you did it anyway. I owe you my life. I'm trying to say that you've earned my trust in a way very few ever have. I want that to mean something. I want you to know more about me at least from what I can remember. As long as I've prayed to Lady Shah, I've wished to serve her as a dark justicia. There is scarcely a greater way to fully dedicate yourself to Lady Shah, save perhaps if you become the head of her church. To become a dark justicia is to become the Night Singer's sword arm. Her implement with which she will cast down the unbelievers and win the final battle to restore her perfect, endless darkness. It's all I ever wanted. I prayed it was my calling. But Mother forbid me from seeking to prove myself worthy of the rank. She said I was not ready. Not my mother mother, I should add. The Mother Superior head of Lady Shah's enclave in Baldur's Gate. Sometimes I wonder if she would ever deem me ready. I owe her everything, and I only wish to serve, yet she can prove... inscrutable. I don't know. Perhaps if I succeed in my mission and reach Baldur's Gate... Hope has little place amongst Lady Shah's children. It's an illusion. A distraction. But for this... I hope my time will yet come. Dark Justicias are hated by many, judged to be ruthless fanatics. Even the few who would accept a follower of Lady Shah would likely balk at a Justicia in their midst. But there's a simpler answer to your question. I simply forgot about the desire I had until I saw some things that reminded me. Now, I can't get it out of my mind. Need something? Speak.
swift as my feet can carry me. Feed if you must, Astarian. But give me so much as a hungry look, and I'll drive a stake through your heart. Mm. I do so very like spicy food. Something tore right through these people. They didn't stand a chance. The beast reeks of brimstone and offal. Every breath is thick with blood. You hear what comes next before you see it. The sharp snapping of bones and a yelp of pain as her body starts to twist and undulate. You watch with cold realization. This isn't the end of one life, but the start of another. Gnolls, vicious, monstrous humanoids can spawn from the corpses of dying hyenas. against her skull. She yelps, then goes still. As the life fades from her eyes, the knoll within her dies too, stillborn. position.
place is overrun with gnolls. Is there no corner of this plane they don't infest? Let's move. The smell of blood will draw trouble. to find a way forward. Hiding here. Heading there. way.
outmaneuver them. in here. Can't slow down. Take that.
much farther can I go? Keep your distance, darling. Never a dull moment. Should mind my step. That symbol in the blood, what does it mean? down. Leave the heroics to them that don't value their own skin. Shock of psychic pain, the pack leader's mind clamps onto yours. You see yourself through her eyes, a pulsing red cluster of organs. Feast! No, the voice has forbidden this meat. Nulls see your whole world as a meal. 
This voice is acting as a leash, but it won't hold them for long. As the symbol glows, power courses through you. Authority. Deep in the chaos of her mind, something responds to your command. A tadpole. It is the source of the voice. She will obey it. She will obey you. A shiver runs across your mind. You feel sated. a hungry pit. The flesh of the survivors wasn't enough to satisfy her. Sensing your presence, the Knoll's tadpole writhes in ecstasy echoing your command. Its host will feast on null flesh to control the hunger, to keep her teeth from your throat. Eager for battle. Onward. <laughs> a hungry pit. The flesh of her pack wasn't enough to satisfy her. Violently, 
and the fragile tissue of her brain tears and splits. You taste the blood in her throat, feel it pooling in the cavity of her skull. But she still resists. Your tadpole wriggles, contented, as she tears out her own throat. a chest like that to hold trinkets. There must be something valuable inside. Why wonder when we can find out for ourselves? Someone there? Let's crack it open. Have a look. Moving in. Mm. Open up. A step forward. No traps, please. Yes. <clears throat> mm. 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 There's no 
time to waste. Watch your back. No time to dally. No one. With pleasure. Skeleton key. Got a long road ahead. Anything of use? Very well. Yeah, I think. <clears throat> what now? A quick rummage. No one back home will ever believe this. At the ready.
Just another crate. So that's progress. Have to keep going. What's next? Need anything else? Of course, but please, remember, you're not the only one in need.
Sylvanas be with you. We need to find a way forward. <clears throat> no helping it. We're exposed now. Something's on my mind. Looking for steel? I have, well, something close. Druids. Who uses wooden tools? Thank you. 
What's in here? Might be useful. Ever since we shared each other's flesh, I've caught you looking at me with lidded eyes. And either like a coward or a fool, you tremble. Perhaps the parasite has weakened you. Or perhaps... Perhaps you still long for my taste. I never promised more than a night. Though I can't deny the lure of your taste. Sweet, yes. But also bitter as ginger. Tempt me. Like the shield bearer and pikemen must train to march their formation in tandem. Very well. I will claim you once you have taken to rest. Why would a lesser act spark greater desire in you? Chuk. Overheated grappling that wastefully eats into time better spent resting our muscles. from before quick light like a frightened rabbit i'll keep your request in mind perform well and perhaps i'll consider it enough i have given you my word do not be late speak You know, I was just thinking about you, remembering our little encounter in the night. And I am very grateful. It did get me thinking about the others, though, how they might taste. And <laughs> not that anyone's volunteered, it's just an idle fancy. No, that's the thing. I can't quite figure them out. Take Gale, for example. He strikes me as someone whose blood is rich, refined like well-aged brandy. But the gif? What in the hells would she taste like? Hmm. Oh. Well, that sounds very appealing. I'm almost convinced. Absolutely. A mere thought experiment. So, in the spirit of theoretical questions, if you had to take a bite from one of them, who would it be?
Oh, no. No, 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 no. Don't be disgusting. I just mean a sip of their blood. No mastication required. Mmm. A meal that would put up a fight. An adventurous choice. Although, the more I think on it, the hungrier I get. I better go find something I can actually get my teeth into. Uh, there's nothing that tasty lurking out in the woods, but I'll make do. Uh, sweet dreams. Yes? Lady of Sorrows, guide us. Did you want something? Well met. Spare me a moment. If you please, I've something important to discuss with you. We've been traveling together for a while now, and it's just about time that I shared something with you. It's a rather personal matter that I'd have preferred to keep quiet, but needs must when the devil drives. I have no choice but to speak. You see, I have this condition, very different from the parasite we share, but just as deadly. No, no, nothing like that. Though if I fail to treat it, then the consequences would not be contained to me alone. What it comes down to is this. Every so often, I need to get my hands on a powerful magical item and absorb the weave inside. Staffs, tomes, cowls, the form doesn't matter, so long as it's brimming with weave. It's been days since I last consumed an artifact, since before we were abducted. It is time, and by that I mean it's imperative that I find and consume strands of weave at the earliest possible juncture. We've already done the finding. In fact, you have one in your possession. You know for yourself how hard one such an item was, and it will be no easier when even more are required to assuage my hunger. There'll be danger involved, or great cost. Valid question. If not out of the simple goodness of your heart, then perhaps your own self-interest might be sufficient motivation. Having a wizard like me around is quite the boon when facing the perils that stalk these lands. It'd be far harder for me to assist you if I could barely stand upright. Please, trust me. Your help could be the difference between life and death. That's not going to work on me. Look, I appreciate your curiosity, but don't pursue this path. Let's agree on actions first and explanations later. Yes? As luck would have it, you're already primed to give me exactly what I need.
I will consume the magic inside. What was a powerful artifact will be rendered no more than a trinket. But it will save my life. Even if only temporarily. Think me impatient or ungrateful. I shall persevere for now. What's inside? on your mind apart from finding me an artifact to consume which I assume you're pursuing with the appropriate urgency think of it as tribute the kind a king might pay to a more powerful neighbor to avoid invasion as long as I pay there will be peace but should I ever stop along comes a war I can assure you the battlefield would extend well beyond the borders of my body alone. We all have our burdens, one way or the other. Zell appears at your bunk, her eyes raging with desire. You suspect you won't be getting much sleep tonight. Yes? Oh, darling, I'm hurt. I thought we had something special. Yes? Oh, darling, I'm hurt. I guess I'll spend my evenings lounging here while you do all the hard work. It sounds awful. Swift as my feet can carry me. Well met. That's the spirit.
Blazer, have you ever done a good deed just for the sake of it? I have performed deeds well and efficiently. Is this what you mean? Mm, not exactly. But you answered my question. There's something I've been wanting to share with you, if now's a good time. It's difficult to put into words. I think it might be easier to just show you. Use the tadpole. The connection. Come into my mind. I'm sure. I trust you. How I came to be who I am. How I found my way to Lady Shah's embrace. I don't remember how it started. Only how it ended. I was fleeing. She asked my name. I can't remember what I said. I can't remember anything before those words. All I know is she saved my life and gave me a new home with Lady Shah. <laughs> it hurts. That's all I remember. You remember that it is common amongst Saluna's followers to send their children into the woods alone, a rite of passage to find their way home. Perhaps this one has gone awry. Lady Shah. But yes, her and those who saved me and taught me her ways. The Mother Superior. She made me who I am. At least, as best as I can remember. She taught me. Trained me. Punished me when I failed her. Which was often. No doubt she feels the same way. If not over, then through. Speak. Something good here, I hope. Dead nods. And is that... so for I smell? Laser, you've the most exquisite eyes, golden as the sands of the Calib. And you have a soft skull. A gay tentacle will have no issues pushing through it. Is that a compliment? No, it is a fact. Life in this Faerun is laughably weak.
Cut it out. It's worth the dollar. Nothing we need to worry about. How about a drag? At ease, friend. You're welcome to rest here. I need a quick word. Who, who's there? Please, keep your distance. You're welcome to shelter here, but we've grave injuries to tend to. A devil, the most deadly foe we've yet encountered. We are paladins of Tyr, Lord of Justice. He sent us after an infernal being, straight out of the Nine Hells, hiding in the form of a one-horned tiefling. One horn? Then you mean Karlak, Archdevil's bootlicker. You know her, which means you know what the Fiend is capable of. She slaughtered countless refugees fleeing the Absolute. Yesterday, she butchered an entire family without mercy. We were lucky to survive our encounter with her. She ran toward the river when she saw we were merely wounded, not dead. Down the hill from here. She must pay for her crimes. If you capture her, you will have served Tyr where we could not. This is the Sword of Justice, blessed by Tyr. I've wielded it since I swore my oath. It's all I have, but it's yours if you stop her. Bring me her head, and Tyr will consider her crimes repaid. May the just God guide you. Any sign of the tiefling fiend? She only has one horn, and she looks like she could rip your arms off with her bare hands. Hard to miss. Don't mind if I do. Never get used to the stench of death. Told I'm quite scintillating. Have you really? No. If you want to go poking around in the cellar, be my guest. Plug your nose first, though. Corpse, half right to mush. Must have been down there a ten day or more. It was a toll house. By the time we arrived, it was more like a slaughterhouse. There's more monsters than coin moving down this road. There's a locked door down the hatch. Doesn't look like anyone's managed to get in. If there's any gold left, that's where it'll be. Need any supplies? We've fewer mouths to feed now. Two. Both stalwarts of Tyr. Sworn to uphold justice. The Lord of Justice sent us after a devil haunting this area. We squared off against her. We lost. Talk to Anders if you want the details. I don't have it in me to recount the horror. In 
Tia's name. Horn, the stink of Avernus, Advocatus Diaboli. <sighs> well, I'll be God's damned. The Blade of Frontiers. Thought I'd shaken you for good. That'll teach me to underestimate you. Bloody right. An honor to be chased by the Blade of Frontiers, but I... Ugh! A great heat roars through you, her heat, fiery as the hells. Then you're lost in visions of demonic armies as you tear through a landscape of fire and blood, the Blood War. You saw it from above as the Nautiloid passed through Avernus. This woman was on the front line. What was that? Evidence. Proof that you're a devil. A gladiator in the Archdevil Zariel's army. I can explain, but it's a whole situation. If you just hear me out... Another vision. Karlak's blade raised, slicing through devils, Zariel's servants, as her eyes dart around, seeking escape. Her rage and desperation seep into you. She is a victim of the Blood War, not an agent of it. She's trying to trick us. Don't believe her lies. You saw the truth. I never wanted to serve Zariel. I was enlisted in her army against my will. Forced to fight, and fight I did. When I saw an opportunity to get away, I took it. Finally home. Or near it anyway. You served her. That's enough to damn you. You don't know what you're saying. You're asking me to trust a devil. You know monsters, right? Better than anyone. Look into my eyes. Can't you see I'm not what you think? Shit. You really are no devil, are you? I've... I've been deceived. Ah. Oh. Thank the gods. Thought I was gonna have to take your head. <laughs> you would have died in the attempt. But there have been enough threats today. Truce then, eh? Aye. Truce. I'm Karlak. But you already knew that. And you are... Well met, soldier. Nice to meet a friendly around here. It's been tough going so far. I may not be a devil, but I can put the Blade's reputation to work. How would you feel about helping me kill some evil bastards? 
Little background, if your moral compass needs something to point at. You already know I fought in the Blood War. I was good. Really good. It turns out I've got a knack for killing demons. That made me a valuable asset. Zariel, the archdevil herself, made me as her personal attack dog. I played along until I could get the fuck out of there, but devils don't like to lose their assets. <laughs> Zariel liked it so little. She sent a bunch of goons, so-called paladins of tear, to take me back. Problem is, I'm not going. Dirty work's the only kind I like. But there are a lot of them, and just the one of me. I'll take point, and you flank them. Then we can work on evicting this parasite and take Faerun by the short hairs. Sound good? Fuck yes! They cornered me outside the toll house just up the hill. Doubt they've gone far after the scorching I gave them. Ah, uh, hang on though. Looks like you've got enough backup at your side. Not sure there's room for me. I'll catch up with you when it's time to camp for now. But don't get to any of the fun stuff without me. Got it? Ah, Shadow. How blessed I am to be so near. I heard you with Lazel. Don't think I'll play second fiddle to the likes of her. Go try your charms on someone who's out of earshot. You've been witness to a pantomime. I'm sorry to say, and I've played my part all too poorly. I can say only this. Karlak's not the only one who's had a villain's knife held to their throats. I have never called myself hero, but I am bound to an oath. One night soon when we make camp, the veil will be lifted. And I'll pay my penance. And you'll have them. But I can't promise you'll like them. karlak has got the brawn of a warrior and the wiles of a survivor. Best of all, she speaks her mind plainly and fully. Show her due respect. Karlak and Will seem to have put their differences aside. I thought it was going to come to blows for a moment. Well met. Are you sure? The blade stands at the ready. And just when things were warming up. Trust me, I'll tell you all about it after we take care of the goons on my tail. Depends on the type. Ice devils hate an inferno, but that's an easy one. Orthons love projectiles. What they don't love is getting their bombs lobbed right back in their faces. Demons, on the other hand, every demon is absolutely singular. You can't ever think you've got them typed out. Sharp instincts, sharp weapons, and a knack for improvisation. That's the only way to survive them. <laughs> anyway, what were we talking about? <laughs> Funny you should ask. I was just thinking about what would have become of us without that nautiloid. I mean, I know where I'd be, trapped in Averna still, with the Blade of Frontiers on my tail. But what about you? Oh, man. Lucky you. That's the dream. Maybe when this is all done, you can show me where you came from. 
My family home's long gone, but I'll show you my favorite chow hall in the city, if it's still standing. Hey, soldier. It wasn't all that long ago. I never knew the whole of how and why, but I remember the devil slavering with delight. I should have looked after the Elterans more. Gone out of my way to make sure they were all right. The long and short of it was, I didn't want to risk my neck. I let them get on with the nightmare, same as I had to. But Avernus is no place for decent folk. I'm glad they got out. So glad. I thought we were going to see some real sparks fly between Will and Karlak. <laughs> it's almost a pity things ended so amicably. Seeing those two duke it out would be fun. Darling, I thought you'd never ask. Lead on. Ah, glad you've a moment for me. My, um, predicament has become rather urgent. I need a magical artifact to consume right now. You've already found enough magic to soothe its disquiet. If you'll just give me what I need. Thank you. Oh, that hit the spot. I can feel it work. The magic, it's like a lullaby that sings to sleep the demon inside. A metaphorical demon, I haste to point out, but no less dangerous. And no less bound to wake up again to continue its ravages. Such is the nature of all monsters. Grateful as I am, the course of our camaraderie is much better served by not taking that particular detour. Not just yet. Sincerely, though, I understand I ask a lot from you with few answers in return. But in time, all will be told. I obtained it in Waterdeep. Nothing there comes cheap. Open up. Are we really going to hunt the devil on their behalf? We may have more important pursuits, but when it comes to slaying the Hell's minions, I'll find the time. Very 
well then. Still alive, so that's progress. But that will fit in my pack. Well, Something's on my mind. I've known people who are hungry for power, but Gale takes it a bit too literally for my liking. I wonder how he does it. Why he does it. <laughs> I'm sure all will be revealed in time, but I don't like it. A waste of perfectly good treasure. Oh, darling, I'm hurt. I... Guess I'll spend my evenings lounging here. It sounds awful. Gail is positively voracious. Well, let him suck up all the magic he needs, as long as he doesn't snack on a Githyanki silver sword. So, Gale just consumes magical items like I do wine. We truly are a group apart. Nevertheless, as quirks go, that's a new one for me. Gale slurped that thing up like a horse with a carrot. I hope he got what he needed from it. I like Gale, but I'm keeping all my good gear well out of sight. Everything fancy he touches meets a grisly end. Soldier. Yeah, let's go straight there. Whatever those fucks are getting up to, it's nothing good. Just to say, by the way, they're not really paladins. Lackeys of the Archdevil playing dress-up as paladins of Tyr. No honor among devils. Aces. What can I do you for?
ourselves up. Well, well, well. No one back home will ever believe this. Smell that? Blood. This whole plane reeks of it. That'll wake you up of a fine day, won't it? I do not need awakening. My senses are sharp as steel. Moving ahead. You brought her here. We won't survive another assault. Leave us in peace, and we shall leave you in kind. Cut the crap, Anders. I know what you are. Don't let her hurt us. Please. We just want to go home. The Archduchess will be delighted when we return with Karlak's head on a pike. I never was good at playing the coward. There is no beast here or in the hells I fear. Not with her ladyship's protection. Least of all, this dog. You'd do well to reconsider your alliance with this animal. She destroys all she touches. Useful in the blood war. Frighteningly dangerous anywhere else. Rage all you want, Karlak. Burn with the might of the hells. Zariel will find you. She will bring you home in pieces. And your little friends will have to watch. Unless we feed you their eyeballs first. Avernus was never my home. It was my prison. I'm free now. And I'm never going back! Covered.
surrender. I'm never going back. And if any of Mummy's little friends want to pick up where the others left off, they'll find nothing but a pile of ash. Zariel's gotta stop fucking with me, you know? I'm done with it. I'm done with her. I'm free! I'm I ought to do it. Oh. Whew. Had to let off a little steam after facing off with those ignots. Granted, the fire's lasting a little longer than it should. How do I look? Honey. I could go all night. Hear that? Infernal engine for a heart. Let's me burn as hot as the hells. Seems to be running in overdrive since I left Avernus. Won't be seeing my mechanic anytime soon, so I'll just make the most of the extra heat. Just don't get too close till I've found a way to calm it down. High pain tolerance. 
and a dynamic duo of truly shitty bosses. But it's a bit early in the game to be getting into tragic backstories. Let's save the Scar show for later, after we've worked up an appetite for tragedy. Meanwhile, I'll need to find someone who can tune up my engine sooner rather than later. Believe me when I say this thing is hot. The first time I faced down those paladins, they let slip there was an infernal mechanic in the area. A tiefling. He might be able to stabilize things, if I can find him. A weaponsmith, huh? Not sure if he's the guy, but I'd love to find out. A tune-up would do this rusty heart a world of good. Copper for your thoughts. Old Rusty? Sure. The year? Ten air. The place? A sleepy little town called Baldur's Gate. Our hero? Karlak. A not-need delinquent from the outer city, with everything to give and nothing to lose. I was a kid looking for a way to fill my days and make some cash when I fell into the wrong crowd. Worked for a guy I respected. A lot. Turns out the feeling wasn't mutual. Through the jigs and the reels, he made a deal with Zariel behind my back. You know Zariel, right? Archdevil of Avernus. She put this thing in my chest and set me to work. But to war. I learned quick how to stay alive. And the engine served me when it came to killing devils. Ten years of that. The stories I could tell. Guy named Gortash. Politician. Inventor. One of these wheeler dealer types who seems to have a finger in every pie. I guess I was naive to think everything he got up to was above board. What did I know? I saw a job, a good job, with people I liked, doing work I was good at. Sometimes I'm jealous of that girl. Oh, to feel so invincible again. First things first, I need to get this engine tuned up. Things powerful, but it's been feeling volatile ever since I left the Hells. Can't be too hard to find an infernal mechanic around here, right? What's on your mind? inside.
What's hiding here? Not reaction. This will be fun. With haste. Watch how you go. It's a trap. That might be worth a look. Something's on my mind. Soldier? Ah, oh, come on. You don't mean that. Ah, oh, fine. I'll be here eating dirt or whatever. Mm, better not be cursed. Need something? Darling, I thought you'd never ask. Lead on. Next, I wonder. Take you, you. I have a lot on my mind, and well, in it. Mm. At least things have stayed interesting. Best avoid that trap. Alive, so that's progress. Keep your distance, darling. Got a long road ahead. Should I must have oh, action, not reaction. I'm ready. No time for Danny.
Russian have wished to live more interesting times. Never wanted the easy path. Bodies everywhere. Accident or sabotage? Nothing. going. Always room for more. Hmm. 
What's that? Action, not reaction. One true way. Be on my way. Fallen warriors, their days of glory long since past. There are harper and druid symbols on their equipment. An interesting pair. Careful, I buy it. No one back home will ever believe this. Another step forward. Enough sitting around. Let's go hurt someone. More for me. have seen it. Smoke. Something's burning. More drow. Fist! At the ready! Another long sworn. A killmonger. A monster. If I do not take his head, he will take mine. You're... You're different than the others. I can tell. It was a massacre. Drow and goblins slaughtered the lot. My poor Yatsik never stood a chance. He should never have been here in the first place. I'm the one that talked him into joining the fist. Now, please, just... leave me be. Speak to the gauntlet if you want to know more. I hear shouting. Someone needs help. Inside. Don't just stand there! Push! much time.
The heat coming off that door. Opening it could spell trouble. Must wait. Have to keep going. I'll take that. As well that ends. Not as bad as it could have. Should mind my step.
fresh air. At last. Your boldness is a blessing. I'm in your debt. Counselor, are you all right? It takes more than mere fire to break me, Eva. Now listen close, Fist. Duty calls. Drow have taken Grand Duke Alder Ravenguard westward, if my eyes and ears can be believed. Gauntlet, report to the Manic and send for reinforcements. We must find the Duke. On your command, Counselor. The rest of you, count the dead. Take word of their sacrifice to this city. And you, I must ask again for your aid. Please, rescue Ravenguard from his drow captors. The Council will reward you for your effort. May I trust you'll see it through? By the time aid arrives, it might be too late. You've the heart of a dragon and the will of a hero. Tell me I can count on you. Thank you. And should your courage falter, remember the Duke's generosity. Go. You should pick up the drow trail with ease. I will seek reinforcements and join you when I can. Fist? To work. Excellent armor. Drow craft, of course. Not much magic left, though. Sun's too bright. What's inside?
course. Keep trying. My wife, Miri, she'll need my help. Get on with it. Have to keep pushing. Seems like a good moment to talk. stayed you should have been with me I was in our room we had a fight if I just kept my mouth shut about that bloody dowry she'd still she'd still be here it's for a sister's wedding I made a stupid joke about keeping it we argued about it for hours then she took the dowry and left. She said I'd never see her again. She was right. How is this a blessing? You should have let me burn.
looking at you. Breathe deep and move. Great God, Helm. Allow us peace in this plane and beyond. Teach us care when we will be reckless. Teach us certainty when we will have doubt. So it is spoken, and so is it done. A long way to go still. Quickly then. Shouldn't have wished to live in more interesting times. Looking ahead. Moving ahead. Let's have a look at myself. Wits and blades always sharp. Ah! Trust me. Let's be quick. All's well that ends. Not as bad as it could have. No time to waste. And these things have stayed interesting. No traps, please. I've seen everything. Come <laughs> on. 
get on with it. Let's get going. <sighs> on my way. Blackets will be done. Sound and taken. Objective noted.
waste the step. What's in here? Stop me yet. Very well. Great God help. Allow us peace in this place. Watch your back. Never a dull moment. Moving in. That might be worth it. fast. I must heal. Indolence breeds madness. An efficient path. <sighs> Rested enough. Now, forward.
Another step forward. What's next? No one back home will ever believe this. We need to find a way forward. Please. <laughs> Looks like there's a chest buried in that hay. lowered in your direction. His hide twitches, every muscle primed to bolt. He's terrified. The ox calms, his tail swishing a satisfied arc. Creature turns a piece of cud around its mouth, chewing contentedly. Someone's moving around in there. You spot a man crouching between the shelves just as he spots you. Bugger! He freezes, waiting on your next word.
Right, look. If it's business you're about, then be about it. Flame and fist could be on us any minute. Down you go. Entrance is behind the wardrobe. Here's the key. Pass, didn't I? Or ill, and whatever lies beyond the stars. Oh, that's excellent. It's so good to see a secret passage with some flair. That's far enough. What's your business down here? Answer honestly and maybe we'll kill you clean. With what? Your life was ours the moment you walked in here. But maybe I'll let you buy it back. I have a job needs doing. We've disarmed the traps. Come down.
Let's see what this does. Stay vigilant. You steal anything. You're dead. You don't want to keep Zaris waiting. Believe me. Well, don't you cut a fine figure. Want your portrait done? If you have the gold, my pet artist will make you a most heroical likeness. Let's say we're his patrons, yeah? Found him wandering the wilds alone. He needs protection. And if his paintings cover our costs, so much the better, eh? Hmm. You've got an eye for quality. Every noble in Baldur's Gate will be after one of these. Tell him I sent you. And if he stains it up with his sniffling, there'll be hell to pay. I won't have a word. Don't touch anything you ain't paid for. The fist tries to storm in. I want to see those traps in action. You. The way you handled Zaris. You're not one of her thugs. You need to buy me. Selling my... I am not some lower city coin lad offering you a tumble. I am an artist, and my patron will reward you for my rescue. Tenfold, whatever ransom you pay, I guarantee it. As far as you're concerned, she may as well be the coin maiden herself. But there will be time for questions later. Please, speak to Brem. I need to see the sun again. Starts bleeding obvious. He misses the sun. He what? Needs light to work, he says. We had a chat. Turns out he needs his eyes more. Something I can help you with? Fancy that? So do I. Can't show you the good stuff till Zaris gives the say so mind. Friends of the Zen only. You seem a nice soul. I'm glad we didn't have to kill you.
Not many can talk their way into a Zentarim outpost. I could use someone with your skills. Interested in a job? We're the finest mercenaries on the coast. We can provide you with anything. For a price. Some of our people are missing. More importantly, so is their cargo. Find them. Keep them alive if you can. Failing that, just bring that shipment back. Unopened. I'm offering hard coin, not idle answers. All you need to know is that I'm willing to pay a hideous sum to get it back. Unopened. Good. Backtrack along the road to the east and look for a wagon. Bodies, the usual. Time was. No one dared touch a caravan bearing our colors. Find whoever did this and remind them why. Not many can talk their way into a Zentarim outpost. I could use someone with your skills. Interested in a job? We're the finest mercenaries on the coast. We can provide you with anything. For a price. If you've got coin to spend and problems to solve, the Zen will relieve you of both. But today I'm offering work. Not looking for it. Some of our people are missing. More importantly, so is their cargo. Find them. Keep them alive if you can. Failing that, just bring that shipment back. Unopened. I'm offering hard coin, not idle answers. All you need to know is that I'm willing to pay a hideous sum to get it back. Unopened. Good. Backtrack along the road to the east and look for a wagon. Bodies, the usual. Time was. No one dared touch a caravan bearing our colors. Find whoever did this and remind them why. Never wanted the easy part. Pick up the pace! I'll take that. wouldn't linger down here if I were you. See all that smoke powder? The flaming fist won't find nothing here but rubble. I suppose you've noticed I'm not terribly fond of wolves. I've always been terrified of them, ever since I was a child. I showed you my memory of when I was lost in the woods. It can hardly come as a surprise. The Mother Superior wasn't above using it against me. If I disobeyed, sometimes instead of a whipping, she'd threaten to drag me to a wolf den. Never failed to bring me back in line. Why is it always the bad memories I can still recall? 
In any case, I'll be keen to avoid them. You're unlike the Mother Superior, then. Maybe that's what I like about you. You're different. That's curious. I hate wolves. What now? Quick step. There are traps about. Not over and through.
not a day. Let's move. Is that blood? No, never mind. I wonder, is that? Uh, no. An ordinary lamp. Pity. I need only tell her it's a gambling debt. It's happened before. That artist really paint all those things. Says he did, yeah. Why? Says his muse made him do it. Who's that, then? God's little brother. Read a bleeding book. Wonder if the gods are watching me. Something I can help you with? I doubt you've got that kind of dosh line about. So maybe I was fishing. No fooling you. He's all yours. Don't forget to feed him. He balls something proper. I can't say I've ever been bought before. How much did I fetch? No, don't tell me. There's nothing so depressing as learning one's true value. Well, you should at least know what you've paid for. I am the Oscar Fevras, at your service. <laughs> Quite well, now that... Wait, you're not serious. Droll. Fear not. I'll ensure you're compensated once I return to my patron. My betrothed, I should say. Assuming Lady Janeth still wishes to marry me after our little, um, falling out. Quite. 
It seems we are destined to doomed romances, are we not? She offered me a future. And so, in a fit of madness, I told her of my past. Of the woman I loved before she found me. Love still, in truth. She was less than pleased. I made a timely retreat into the countryside to paint and clear my head. To choose, I suppose. Hmm? Oh, absolutely none. Uh, and fame and wealth suit me very well, no doubt. And yet, I think of that first love, and I hesitate. <laughs> Likely I'm going mad. Regardless, we have more immediate concerns. Your reward once I've returned to the city, for one. Say, you... I don't suppose you could spare some coin, could you? Ease the discomforts of the road some... A hero to the hilt. Seek me out in the city, truly. Beneath my brush, you'll live forever. Until Baldur's Gate, then. Seems simple enough. swift as my feet can carry me. Assume nothing. Securing. Things have stayed interesting. Very well. Hmm. What's that?
Welcome to Joaquin's Rest. West, Baldur's Gate. East, Eltera. What's inside? Need anything else? Of course, but please remember, you're not the only one in need. Sylvanas be with you. this soul coin, right? Thing is, I think I can use it. My engine can, anyway. Zariel used to top me up every now and again when she wanted me to go after an especially wicked target. Sort of. Next time we find ourselves toe-to-toe -to -toe with something we want to squash, Drop a coin in. See what happens. Fuck yes! Now I just need something to sink my teeth into. Thought I sensed an inferno around here. But you aren't from Elturel. What's your story? I spent a good bit of time in the hells. Enlisted against my will by the Archdevil Zariel. Same as you, I suppose, if you're from Elturel. The devils were delighted when your city was swallowed up. I thought they had you for keeps. Glad you got out. I got lucky. It looks like you did too. And... You brought some infernal machinery with you. A little gift from Zariel. Keeps me burning hot. Very hot by the smell of it. Might be burning out a piston ring or leaking oil. Mind if I take a listen? Be my guest. But don't get too close or your eyes will melt shut. You really are burning up. Whoever put that engine together tried to house metallurgized demono valves inside a Ragnax alloy casement. Very risky. I might be able to help them, but I'd need infernal iron and a prayer that my hammer will survive the work. That thing isn't meant to operate outside of Vernus. I'm not sure how much longer it'll keep running the way it's going. Will you be able to turn down the temperature a little? Worried I'm gonna go in for a handshake and singe someone's arm off one of these days. I'd worry about surviving the night first. But help one, help both. If we can cool you off, it'll stabilize your engine and allow you to touch whomever you please. I've sensed some during our travels. It has a, a pull to it. Absolutely magnetic, once you know what you're looking for. I can show you where I'd look. Not much to a regular smith, but a fair bit to a canny buyer. Not that that matters. We want to use it, not sell it. 
Meanwhile, I've still got plenty of weapons and armor in stock if you're looking to load up. from the heart. Damn, Druids. Who uses wooden tools? How fares the search? Maybe. But I'd need infernal iron. And a prayer that my hammer will survive the work. Please let this work. Mmm. The weight of it. And that blaze of chaos. Can't imagine this where my heart should be. Must be quite the experience. Give me just a moment. And I think... There. You'll have to install it, I'm afraid. I don't think there are thick enough gloves in all the realms to protect from that kind of heat. That feels... Good. I'm still burning hot as hell's hole, but I feel less... ...changeable. Cheers, mate. Pleasure. And as for the heat, I haven't got any solutions now, but I'm not giving up. Could be if the combustion chamber had its own insulation, or if we had some kind of enchanted coolant. Find me again in Baldur's Gate. If I'm worth my salt, I'll have figured something out by then. Take care, Karlak. And hopefully the next time I see you, I'll have something promising to report. Pocket any infernal iron you find along the way, hmm? Okay, the goblins didn't I miss kill my four ship Is that everything? I think I think that's 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 sad. Sad. Looking for steel? I have, well, something close. Looking for steel? I have, well, something close. I'll talk to the guards at Baldur's Gate. Damon's upgrade didn't cool me down, but it did juice me up. I don't think I've ever felt more powerful. Bring it on. Light on my feet. Attention. Shouldn't have wished to live in more interesting times. At the ready. I have something to ask. I heard what happened. Thank you for protecting the child. If the druids are this far gone, then it's not just goblins we have to fear. So we can risk violence here, or face it for certain on the road. Quite the choice, isn't it? No, 
The druids are too powerful. We can't stand against them all. It's Corga's influence. Without her twisting things, I believe the druids might see sense. It's good of you to offer, but there's a whole army of goblins out there. We'd need an army of our own to escort us safely to Baldur's Gate. And while I don't doubt your abilities, you're no army. There may be a way, though. Goblins are ill-disciplined. It's unlike them to organize so cleverly. Somebody must be leading them, bringing discipline to their ranks. Take out that leadership, and they'll scatter. It's no small thing to ask, but I've seen you fight. You're equal to the task. I suppose so. We don't have much, but we'll scrape together whatever we can. Of course. Everything we have, anything we can give you, we will. We'll be ready to leave as soon as you give word. Just Zevlor, Tilly. We're civilians now, remember? With respect, sir, being a Hellrider is for life. They can't take... They can, and did. Avernus changed things. Best we get used to that. Yes. Zevlor. I'll give it a shot. No help again. We're exposed now. Oh, what do I do for some salt? Hey, soldier. Really? Really, really? Oh, fine. Well, hello. What can I do for you? Darling, I thought you'd never ask. Lead on. We could help each other, fight the goblins together. Instead, these fools are trying to chase us away. We have to look after ourselves. That's what Mole says. That girl. I don't care what Mole says. That was stupid and reckless. You ever scare me like that again and... I'll feed you to a knoll. Mom, I'm fine. Stop it. Our little hellion told us what happened. Thank you. Don't know what we'd do without her. I did, but I was robbed. You 
wouldn't know anything about that, would you? Marry. All we can offer is our thanks. Arabella? Thank you. For helping me. Stop. I was fine. Your mother was a heartbeat away from fighting a bear. Isn't that how mum usually is? Quiet, you pup. Because of you, I got my little girl back. That's not something I'll forget. The road to Baldur's Gate looks a little less daunting now that we're all back together. Ugh. I'm never gonna hear the end of this. If I'd got that stupid idol, I'd be a hero. A heroic thief? Mum? Dad, Mole? They all would have been so impressed. Mole said we had to do something, because the old folks weren't doing anything. They were talking when the druids were getting ready to throw us out. Why can't we just stay in until it's safe? <laughs> I know this doesn't change anything, but it helps. Thank you. I need some time alone with her to say goodbye. I won't forget what you did for me, for her. Thank you.
That's that might curious. be Still breathing, despite everything. More for me. These boots have seen everything. Need something? No one stopped me yet. What path lies before me?
whatever comes, I'm ready. Can't give up now. How delicious. What to do? How much farther can I go? I wonder what the next move is. I've got a long road ahead. She's coming. Well, you've been naughty. And you know what happens when you're naughty. God damn it. Anyone but her. to let the Hellcat out of the bag. Call me Mazora. I'm Will's patron, the fount of his power. My pet's been unruly, and his leash needs a yank. We had a deal, Will. But Karlak's still breathing. I've taken more pleasant shits than you, Mazora, and at least those can be buried after. That's no kind of talk for a lady. By the way, Karlak, Zariel sends her regards. You told me! Devils only! She's a tiefling, not a monster! How precious. The little pupster's found his bark. Clause G, Section 9. Target shall be limited to the infernal, the demonic, the heartless, and the soulless. Karlak meets the criteria by virtue of having no heart. The point? Oh, yes. Thanks for the reminder. Will birds in the fires of Avernus. The lightning storms of Dis strike his flesh. His soul passes through each layer of the Hells, gaining their essence and their torment. have you done the promise broken a price paid you know the terms get used to the new form pet there's no going back some magic even i can't undo now let's see how the frontiers fare without their precious blade karlak keep an eye on him would you i'll be keeping mine on you. Oh, and Will, don't forget, our pact still stands. Ta-ta. On my way.
Gods damn her straight back to the hells. Just look at me. I did what was right, and Mazora made me pay for it. I'd be hunting devils and demons, she said. Traitors and hypocrites, heartless evils of all sorts, but not... Not Zariel's victims. Not innocent tieflings. Warlock packs tend to be unforgiving from what you know of them. Will was lucky he didn't face a more severe punishment. these years. You'd think it's a lesson I'd have well learned. It's Mazora who grants me the power to conjure armor and cast eldritch blasts. Before I was infected, I could even call hell beasts and summon festering clouds, but I promise you, every thrust of my blade and every flame I sparked was for the good of the coast. Ah, the one little question that put me out of house and home. I can't utter the terms or circumstances of the pact. I can tell you most all else, but the pact, I'm forbidden, unless Mazora permits it. But I'll say this, the moment I pacted myself to Mazora, I have not regretted for a heartbeat. It was my proudest deed. It was worth the sacrifice. All I can give you on that is my solemn word. I need a moment for the two of us. Karlak's temper is a sight to behold. She'll need to be careful. That rage will burn her right out. Fate spins along as it should. Dost thou require a new ally? Need something? How can I help? Isn't it glorious? Karlak's fury is a wonder to behold. I'll be honest, soldier. I'm reeling. Will hardly knows me, but he chose my life over his. <sighs> Been a long time since someone stuck their neck out for me like that. Gobsmacked, really. But grateful. Really grateful. I could learn a thing or two from a man like that. Hopefully we won't turn into Mind Flayers first. Someone there. Moving. The 
Keep your distance, Dad. is all that matters. to find a way forward.
Open up. I'm done. I can't wait to sleep. So that's progress. Don't waste the step. What is your name? I do not know this name. If you are known to my master, step forward and declare yourself an ally. There's a pause as those glass eyes take you in. Then... A well-guarded laboratory. What were they hiding down here? Wish I had a bag of holding. Another step forward. Let's see. Let's have a look. Watch how you go. There's a trap.
let's get going. Catch a break. What's in here? Young cave bear, killed and stuffed before its teeth were fully grown. Avoid that trap. Looking ahead. Careful, I bite. No one back home will ever believe this. Enough waiting. I crave blood. Is that? Blood. 
No, never mind. Time to press ahead. Don't touch me. book is locked tight with no visible keyhole, only an oval recess in the cover's mouth. You try to examine the book, but the longer you stare, the more those piercing amethyst eyes draw you in. A cursed book. How obvious. Whoever opens it deserves the fate that befalls them. Curious. Why don't you take a closer look? I'll observe from back here. With haste. Shah's blessings upon you. Should get started. Someone there. Can't give up now. At the ready. Might be useful. That's curious. At the back of the crevice lies a bag enfolded in the chittering squabbling of spiders. A shiny gold coin pokes from its mouth.
The creatures clutch the pouch possessively. Is gold so precious to spiders? One by one, the spiders retreat to the rear of the crevice, lulled by your murmurs. You stash the bag. Something clinks among the coins. Several spiders rest in the rear of the crevice. Several spiders rest in the rear of the crevice. The infuriated spiders pour in all directions like sand. The swarm is coming. inside. This crevice is empty, save a bit of dust. What path lies before me?
Something over there.
know. We know you have her. Please. We just want Marina back. For the love of all that is holy, I've never clapped eyes on your poor sister. Drop the act, hag. You was the last to see me, Rena. Just let her go. Please. You there? Please, I don't know what's come over these boys. I just want to go home. The old woman's face creases with false concern. You realize she's lying about seeing this girl, Marina. Stop this! We... we won't ask again! Bollocks! Thanks for ruining my fun. Some advice? You ever darken my door, you'd best have that head bowed and an apology at the ready. Bye-bye now. Bloody hells! She just disappeared. Ain't seen nothing like that before. She could shoot fireworks out of her backside for all I care. The hug has Rina. It's our sister, Marina. She's... well... She was in a bad way after her husband died. Started saying weird things, like how she was gonna bring him back. Next thing, she's gone looking for the hag of all the stupid things to do. And we haven't seen her since. And no good ever came from dealing with a hag. None of this matters, all right? We need to get her back, and fast! Are you joking? I ain't got a clue who you are. No way I'm leaving Rena to you. But, Joel... Not a chance. We're getting her back on our own. Now, come on. A chill runs up your spine. You feel like you're being watched. You blink and the wilderness changes. A swamp, stinking and insidious, assaults your senses. Diminutive creature sporting a red hat glares at you. You recognize the red cap, a fey creature known for its bloodlust. <laughs> that noise. Is the creature pretending to be a sheep?
What now? Damn stupid bush. Fortunate adventure seeker, perhaps. Get going. Need to find a way forward. Be on my way. A bloodbath. Someone, something, made quick work of the place. No ordinary creature did this. Red caps ripped the place to pieces. Careful, I died. Still breathing. Despite everything, another step forward.
he above all?
This is your end. My faith will protect me. Hiding here. Eager for battle. Proceeding. Edge off. <laughs> what lies within? Let's have a look. Watch your back. Over here. Indolence breeds madness. Mm. Without delay, let's have a look. These things have stayed interesting.
Mission, not reaction. Never a dull moment. One day I'll catch a break. The brothers. I guess they didn't find their sister. Not just dead. Gutted. Hardly a painless kill. Moving in. Open up. What to do? These boots have seen everything. But that will fit in my pack. Step carefully. There's a trap.
Let's have a look. Something's on my mind. Will's brows furrow as your minds connect. He sees the burning embers of Joaquin's rest, then Floric's face as she tells you of Ravengard's abduction. Hells! Older Ravengard's been taken! Then we need to seek him out and get him to safety. You see, Grand Duke Ravengard is my father. I know I haven't said our relation was no matter of pride, not least for him. More than worried in truth. What makes a Duke of Baldur's Gate so interesting to the drow? Even the houses of Menzo Baranzin would have little use for my father. No, this is no drow plot. These absolute nutters, these true souls are behind his abduction. His absence alone will sow chaos in the city. If they were to infect him, he could lead Baldur's Gate to ruin. All the more reason to find him. The Absolute has seized not just my father, but the future of the Sword Coast. I know, and you're right. My story is one of two men. The Blade of Frontiers, a man hunting the fiends who prey on the weak and claw at the coast. And Will Ravengard, a memory of a memory, a man who belongs to the past. I wanted you to know the blade, not the shadow he left behind. I'm all for it. Not so enchanting as you'd think. The poor tears, the cold wells, they were the blue bloods hosting the fancy balls and drinking from gold goblets. Father's the son of a blacksmith, born with barely a coin in the coffers. He made a name for himself among the Flaming Fist. Brave as Balderan, stubborn as a deep rofe. Daring, outspoken, but hardly posh. <laughs> I spent more time dueling with Father than I did rubbing elbows with lords. Not to say I didn't develop a taste for good wine and a talent for courtly dance. Here, here. Though, truth be told, I'd sooner down a weak old hooch at a ramshackle inn. Better company, and a better buzz. It's said that anyone who bathes in the river of blood emerges as one born anew. It's a lot like that, I imagine. I feel the weight of these horns on my head, curling upwards like a mammoth's tusks. I feel these ridges snaking down my neck. Not to mention a few bumps and prongs in unmentionable places. 
But I haven't seen my reflection just yet. Be my mirror. What do you see? <laughs> it's because you know the heart lurking under the horns. The people will see a curiosity. Maybe even a beast hungry for their souls. But I will slay their monsters. Keep them safe. And one day they will see the Blade of Frontiers again. A possibility that's kept me awake countless nights. But I don't have a clue where to start, other than play her games and play by the rules. That's the only language devils listen to. It could well be. She has the blighted thing. What I know of it is simply what has engraved itself upon my memory. My contract is very clear. I can bring Mazora no harm. She'll have to let me out of my pact willingly. The only way out is if I can out-bargain her. We're standing here with nothing but the clothes on our backs and the worms in our heads. We can. I'm sure of it. How glad I am that you see me as more than my patron's pet. Oh, I'll have to speak slowly. I'm finding it quite difficult to concentrate. My condition gnawing at my insides like a teething displacer kitten. can I do for you? On my way. Glad to have an ally. Oh, I'll have to speak slowly. I'm finding it quite difficult to concentrate. That is most gratifying to hear. May I? Thank you. It is a strange experience. Each time anew, I kind of lost soul is spelunking through the darkness that is me, only to be sacrificed on the dread altar of the heart. But doesn't feel quite right. I mean, it never feels right, but it relieves. This doesn't relieve. Oh. Mm. Ever the pragmatist in chief, aren't you? <clears throat> the magic isn't having the effect it should have. It's not like the last time, like a rainstorm that quells a forest fire and merely drizzles. The embers still sizzle. The fire remains undefeated. I'm not certain what's going on, but nothing good. Please, I need to think. I need to retrace my steps to a glade of calm and think. Thank you for the artifact. A great deal of trouble it was, too. A great deal of trouble, indeed. How can I help? Never once. 
wanted the easy path. Huh, I'll give it a shot. So that's progress. Moving ahead. Mm. The frog's entire body shakes. It ribbits erratically as if in pain. Eyes away, croaking a warning, eyes wide in terror. It croaks softly, calmed, but the frog's eyes watch your every movement. Stranger, forgive the aroma. You catch a waft of something foul, metallic, and sickly sweet. Powdered iron vine. An old hunter's trick. Most monsters will think twice before making a meal of me. You're a monster hunter. I'm surprised. I thought all gur were vagrant cutthroats. mystical and dangerous people. We travel the land, never settling in one place. We steal your chickens, curse your crops, seduce your daughters. Your friend here has heard it all, I'm sure. Now, I wish I had half the power settled folk think my people possess. Alas, I am a simple wanderer. A simple wanderer and monster hunter. But I'm no witch doctor or cutthroat. Something terrifying, no doubt. Dragon? Cyclops? Kobold? Nothing so dramatic. I'm hunting for a vampire spawn. His name is Astarian, but I fear he's gone to ground. I hope the hag of these lands can help me flush him out, if I can afford her blood price. Not this time. My orders are to capture him. Oh. Uh, and bring him where, exactly? Baldur's Gate. My people wait for me there. 
I don't know. I'm sure a vampire spawn could still rip out your throat if he felt like it. He is right, unfortunately. They are only weak when compared to their masters. During the day, we have the advantage. But at night, when they hunt, you'll not find a more deadly quarry. We've all survived so far. Let's focus on that. It would still be wise to post guards at night. The threat is real. Indeed it is. We should do something about this threat. Excellent. The vampire? It can't be. Imperial Tippy. <laughs> you chose to shield a stone. Let's hope it doesn't come back to bite me later. My favorite traveling companion. Mm, not anymore. Which is all that matters, really. I didn't do anything. I was kidnapped, just like you. It seems Casador wants me back. Casador Zar is a vampire lord in Baldur's Gate. The patriarch of his coven and a monster obsessed with power. He turned me nearly 200 years ago. I became his spawn. And he became my tormentor. It was him, I'm sure. Only he would know to send the girl. It was a group of Gur that attacked me that night in Baldur's Gate. I would have died had Kazador not appeared and saved me. <sighs> well, he didn't mention the slave clause at the time. 
And now he sends a Gur monster hunter for me. It's a message. He's reminding me of his power. Even in the middle of nowhere, he can reach me. And he wants me back. Maybe he wants to make an example of me, to show what happens to runaways. Or maybe he thinks death is too good for me. Concerned? Do you know the power a vampire lord possesses? He can change shape, turn into mist, call walls to do his bidding, shrug off blows like they're nothing. He could walk into our camp tonight and kill you with his bare hands. And you'd be lucky if death was the worst thing that happened to you. First, we have to... Uh, uh, I don't know. Well, if we kill his lackeys, he'll just send more. We just have to be vigilant, keep our wits about us, and kill any monster hunters on sight. Light on my feet. Best be on my way. Fetid smell assaults your nostrils. Dead flesh lies below. A great deal of it. rush of power flows through you. You feel stronger, faster, better. Indolence breeds madness. Fetid smell assaults your nostrils. Dead flesh lies below. A great deal of it. rush of power flows through you. You feel stronger, faster, better. There is work to do. Fetid sm The warm... Huh? Fetid the warm... What to do? With haste. Took the edge off. I don't want a crumb left on that plate, girl. Aunt Ethel, please. One more bite, and this pie is gonna come back up to say hello. Don't make me get the wooden spoon. You're eating for two, so get to it. If it isn't the cheekiest pop of them all, you best have one hells of an apology for me, young man. Another bard who thinks humor is the same as talent. Cute. You know, I was gonna give you a swift kick up the arse and show you the door, but I think you and I could have a bit of fun together. Gods, grant me patience. Eat up, Marina. I won't say it again. Hmm? Watch that tone, sweetie. You want to be in my good books, trust me. That wriggler in your head isn't going to get its damn self out, is it? Busy bodies are not appreciated around here. Let's not make trouble for some stranger. We have our own problems. I'll talk about your wriggler. And that's it. Last warning. Quicker 
that you can say yes, auntie. What do you say? Want me to take care of the little bugger? Well, that depends on the job. A removing a parasite is no small feat. But I like you, Petal. So I'll only ask for something small. One of your pretty little peepers. I pluck it from your head, kiss it for luck, then back in it goes. Won't take but a moment. That is my price. Nothing more, nothing less. I'm afraid that's my business, Petal. It's nothing nefarious, though. I promise. Touch, but sure you have two eyes in your skull, don't you? No need to be precious. Ethel, can I please? Quiet, you've had enough pampering. And you, my door is always open, Petal. Aunt Ethel is here for you. to give me one of those precious peepers. Glorious. One moment, and she needs her real nails for this. That human skin is fierce restrictive. Well, yes. I should bloody think so. Not many get to see a hag in all her glory. Consider yourself blessed. Now choose. Which eye will it be? Right or left? You absolute idiot! Time to waste.
betraying everyone.
like you here. Victory awaits. Ready. Wish I had a bag of holding. Still breathing, despite everything. Always room for more. If not over, then through. Not bad. I've had better days and worse ones. Mm. 
Don't touch me. Uh, no time to rest. Wish I had a bag of holding. One day I'll catch a break. This does. What now? Subtle steps. Here lies Connor, beloved husband, and a tasty little morsel to boot. Oh, enough waiting. I crave blood. Here lies Connor, beloved husband, and a tasty little morsel to boot. On my way.
Seems simple enough. glints in the light. Assume nothing. The mirror glints in the light. What am I to do? Better take a look. The mirror glints in the light. Keep your distance, darling. The mirror glints in the light. Alive. So that's progress. My sweet Callum whose beloved asked that his beauty never fade. Have to keep going. What is this place? My darling Magrin, she wished for the mind of a genius, but that silly head crossed me. What? How... How am I still breathing? I have the bite. I had to. I was sick. Real sick. The hag petrified me to stop it spreading. I was on death's door. But now I feel... I feel great. How? Oh. But why? Bloody hells! Double crossing, filthy lying wretch! She made me sick and then trapped me in stone for kicks! Evil don't begin to cover it. My kids were only babes when I left. The stones know how old they are now. Only because of you. I... I ain't got no way to repay you. You won't be left wanting. You've my word. Thank you. My dearest Efren, he begged me to halt the deadly disease that ravaged him. Did 
This poor dear wished never to lay eyes on her family again. My gentle Lauren. He wished to know what was to come. Hmm. Is the hag gone? God, tell me she's gone. Oh, please. I was a fool. I wanted to know my fate. I had a choice between two lives, and I was frightened of choosing wrong. I asked the hack to help me see what the future would hold. Got what I wished for, too. I saw my future self. A corpse, rotten with maggots. And everyone around me dead. Putrid and dead. Boring story. Stay or go. Marriage and kids, or a life of novelty. I lost my best years rather than just choose. Yes. I will. Thank you. Let's have a look at myself. Still me, even after everything. A thief who tried to steal from Auntie. Now the good little pet guards my home. Objective noted. What a day. No time to dally. This way. Shouldn't have wished to live in more interesting times. <sighs> Off we go then. I'm ready. All right. What now? There's no time to waste. It seems you've pushed your luck too far. Time to defend yourself.
on the move. This feels good. No choice but to keep going. Blood follows me everywhere. Someone. Breathe deep. My energy wanes. Time to rest. Never a dull moment. Light on my feet. Trust no one. My faith will guide me. No one stopped me yet. <clears throat> Can't slow down. Keep going. No traps, please. Assume nothing. Can't give up now. Need to find a way forward. I wish I had a bag of holding.
This'll do. A long way to go still. Never a dull moment. Don't waste the step. Breeds madness. Stay vigilant. There are traps here. Was someone there? There are traps about. Traps. How considerate. There's no time to waste. Trap. Someone doesn't like visitors. Shouldn't have wished to live in more interesting times. Flackets will be done. Let's get going. Keep your distance, darling. Looks like a trap there. There, in the cage. Get me out of here! Be careful. Trap. There 
a trap. Enough waiting. I crave blood. What now? Over here. Traps. How considerate. Someone doesn't like visitors. Looks like a trap there. ahead. Time to press ahead. You bastard! You ruined it! You ruined everything! You want thanks? A slap is all you deserve. 
Ethel was going to bring my husband back. Back from the dead. And now I'll never see him again. Because of you! This... Just a bit longer and my child would have been born. And all this... All this would have been over. Don't judge me. I have nothing. My baby would have been raised in rags. Auntie Ethel promised to give this child a good life. Teach them magic, even! More than I could have done. Well, I didn't bloody ask you, did I? I didn't ask for any of this. I just wanted Connor back. Now I have to drag his gorps back home. Coffin and all, because a god Grave is the closest I'll get to seeing him again. I hope you're happy. This place reeks of death. Eager for battle. Found and taken. All's well that ends. Not as bad as it could have. What's next, I wonder? Assume nothing. Very well. Gods! Didn't hear you coming. I know I should head home, but I can't bring myself to leave. 
The thought of putting him in a wheelbarrow and making the journey all over again. <sighs> we were just kids when we met. <laughs> I might have pushed him off a swing I wanted. He got right up and pushed me back. I was so surprised that I just laughed. He did too. We've barely spent a day apart since. Not even a little bit. But I will be. No! He deserves a proper burial. He deserves some rest. And he won't get that here. You're a miserable bastard. You know that? What? You can! You feel a surge of power from the wand. The air suddenly tastes acrid. It wants to be used. Bring it back! Bring Connor back! Please! feel something pull at you. The creature yearns for a master. What have you done to him? But this isn't what she promised! I wanted him back! Me. And if he is, I'll find him and bring him back. Thanks. But we'll need more than luck. A bloody miracle, more like it. I'll find a wizard or something. Maybe someone in Baldur's Gate can help us. Connor always said you can find anything in that city. Remember? And thank you, I guess. Come on, love. Let's go. Perhaps using Ethel's wand wasn't the best idea. Let us be mindful in the future, at least. There are few fair bargains.
to do. Is that blood? No, never mind. If not over, then through. Open up. Go on, more of us inside. Ready. We got along quite well, I think. Startled me. I, uh, it's miles away. For the seldom purpose of prayer, Mistra commands all magic. Salvation, if such a thing exists, is hers to bestow or withhold. And yet, even now, more than I fear losing my own self and soul, I fear losing my command of her art. Magic is. My life. I've been in touch with the weave for as long as I can remember. There's nothing like it. It's like music, poetry, physical beauty, all rolled into one and given expression through the senses. Is it the same for you? Fair enough. Though in the end, we're still playing the same composition. Perhaps I can show you what I mean by reaching into the weave together. Always a pity when opportunities slip us by. 
Good night. What's inside? These boots have seen everything. Always makes my day better. I suppose you want to hear about Casador. My old master. Before the mind flayers took me from him. Before this strange, twisted freedom. Casador Tsar is a vampire lord in Baldur's Gate. The patriarch of his coven and a monster obsessed with power. Not political power or military power, I mean power over people. The power to control them completely. He turned me nearly 200 years ago. I became his spawn. And he became my tormentor. Not him, no. A gang of thugs attacked me. Angry about a ruling that I'd handed down as magistrate. They beat me to death's door when Cazador appeared. He chased them off and offered to save me, to give me eternal life. Given that my choices were eternal life or bleed to death on the street, I took him up on the offer. It was only afterwards I realized just how long eternity could be. He had me go out into Baldur's Gate to fetch him the most beautiful souls I could find. It was a fun little ritual of his. I'd bring them back, and he'd ask if I wanted to dine with him. And if I said yes, he'd serve me a dead, putrid rat. Of course, if I said no, he'd have me flayed. Hard to say which was worse. I will, but I won't take it for granted. The Mind Flayers aren't the only monsters out there. They're not even the only ones hunting us. All I'm asking is that you keep your eyes open and watch out for anything lurking in the shadows. What more could I ask? Now, is that all? dog pants through a ball held firmly in his mouth. He relinquishes the ball. It is well chewed and slick with drool.
creep. Dagger, my favorite. What is it? Mm. Moving. I do. Ready for anything.
for watching me. Something smells tasty. Just like old times.
stay idle. Feel a breeze. I wonder what's down there. Lead the way. Trust no one. No one back home will ever believe this. One day I'll catch a break. Let's have a look. The book is locked tight with no visible keyhole, only an oval recess in the cover's mouth. You try to examine the book, but the longer you stare, the more those piercing amethyst eyes draw you in. 
That looks terribly heavy. Why don't you let me carry it for you? Irresistible. You feel changed, bettered for having opened it. Suddenly you are capable of anything. Filling mountains, darkening suns, conversing with the dead. Glyphs shift gently before your eyes. Words slip into your mind, onto your lips, forming words you don't understand. And something is trying to reply. dart beneath your eyes, warping and twisting. Your head throbs, but you almost understand. The world around you is gone. You can only see those glyphs. Only hear those voices. You feel claws moving in the shadows. They pull at you, dragging you closer. branding your mind with strange runes. You see time rewritten, fate undone, your future thrumming with power. The book snaps closed. You've seen too much. What profane knowledge is now seared inside of you you should never have known. Tell the gods what's what. Goblins ahead. Well, look who's getting dragged back. And by such high company. How badly did you mess up? Can it? I know something Ragslin will want to hear. Yeah? What's that? I've been in some druid's grove. This one's spring me. Now move over so I can tell Ragslin myself. Hold on. Where are the Vaders? Dead. Every last one. Ragslin's other trow friend won't be happy to hear that. She'll be happy enough when I tell her where them loobies is holding up. Let me through. Go on. I ain't gonna hold up a trow. Come on. Gotta let the drow true soul know where them loobies is. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> we'll be heroes! Stop fidgeting! Your, um, excelness. Lads are celebrating the raid on Joaquin's rest. We kept it a duke, we did. All the way from the city. I, I'm sure the higher ups will make sure you get the best of the spoils, Your Excelness. The boss is in the temple inside. Uh, Mithara, too. And, and Priestess Gug can show you how many new recruits we got. I don't know any house in Your Excelness. Oh, one of them thieves. If he ain't dead, he's in the pits with the rest of them. The pits? He couldn't be somewhere pleasant sounding, could he? Better still be alive. Your, um, excelness? for your giblets. Got thick giblets. What on! Ah, quit moaning. I ain't moaning if it's true. Go on, then. Enjoy the party. Touch me. Them fleas, you filthy bugger. Next time, Grib will be on guard, dear. Right, boss? Grib couldn't guard his nose from his fingers. Ain't fair! Quit moaning. <laughs> Ain't moaning if it's true. Little blue people, <laughs> he minds you. Where's the rest of the lads at? Probably getting curled <laughs> out of the way. <clears throat> Stop me. <clears throat> I can see the absolute from here. I can. <clears throat> Well, that ends. Not as bad as it goes. Careful, I bite. Someone's left a trap out for us. Best avoid that trap.
Oh dear. Someone's left a trap out for us. These boots have seen everything. Looking at a future true soul, your dryness. Boss Ragslin says I'm next in line. And the drow? You got it. Run Bless you, Fever Drow! Tush, tush, tush. Tribe? Tribe! And the Noll Norder arm clean off. So much for the flaming fist, eh? You ain't here. We sacked Joaquin's rest and left it to burn. Drow flinging magic. Noll snapping off heads. In's nothing but a pile of ash by now. Glorious. Bunch of prisoners got towed to Moonrise. City snobs, mostly. But the flaming fist? Pile of smoking corpses. I figured a drow would know the broken road. Take the north path. It winds you around sure as sunshine till you reach the Taz. Roll toosh! Stoves, stoves, stoves! I know it is true! Oh. More than prepared. I wonder if the gods are watching me. is irresistible. You recognize the overwhelming authority that you've used on others, only infinitely stronger, and turned against you. Your vision clouds, leaving you in a dark, featureless shadowscape, nothingness in every direction. Then there are three figures before you, an armored male elf exuding power and command, a handsome younger man with a quick, easy smile. And a pale young woman with even paler eyes. These are my chosen. They speak for me. Aid their search for the prison 
and you will be worthy to stand beside them in my Pushing the voice away. My power grows. My forces gather. The reckoning draws. Don't give me that look. I don't know what just happened any more than you do. We should keep going. The voice is gone. Muted by this... this gith relic. Why does a half-elf carry it? I think that was the Absolute speaking to us. But we managed to shield ourselves. We should keep moving. I don't know. Not exactly. All I know is it's important I get it back to Baldur's Gate. At any cost. My home. A cloister of Shah followers. Hidden in the city. A group of us were sent to retrieve the artifact. Now I'm the only one left. I can't afford to fail. the easy part. A new age is dawning with confidence and trust. That's it. What kind of coward won't even chase the flame of it? Are we flying or what? A stranger in our air camp. He'll follow. I cry far and wide for great glory. Hell, sat yowl and bleeds the ears. Is that supposed to be entertainment? Don't need to, mates. We already got the greatest start there is, and it ain't no warbling. It's chicken chasing. It's got feathers, don't it? A beak. Besides, I reckon it owes us, seeing as how it just ate our last chicken. Reckon it owes us a game. You want to hear the rules or not? Only the greatest game since eggs sprouted legs, mate. You just gotta chase the chicken round the course and through the posts. But that ain't all. Gotta do it quick and alone. Any of your mates step in, you lose. Time runs out, you lose. Sound easy? It ain't. Come back when that half-wit's done wailing and find out. His I, I don't fancy chasing this thing. It looks right peeved. Is it even a bus? It's got a beak like any other chicken, don't it? Let's just bloody play. 
bloody bard. Used to be goblins had taste. Mountains, great mortals, all kinders to quick. With fragulous crown and with scepter a braid, draw Ragslin, short work of the innkeeper made. <laughs> the inn burnt to ash. The captives were many. Goblet kind had reduced them to cowering filfenny. So raise it your goblets and drain them with pride. Draw Ragslin. The true soul had led you collide. You'd have to yell, Hum! a meatier creature than any I've spied! Oh, Balderdash! Oi, stranger! You make him with my pigeon! He's talking stupid now! Come, let's continue our ballad! <coughs> draw Ragslin! Draw Ragslin! Um, uh, um, uh, I am... But draw Ragslin, um, um, Tumptuous, uh, draw Ragslin, uh, um. You broke him! Wait, wait, uh, draw Ragslin, we play, we... Uh... Come on, pigeon, back to your cage. Now, look what you've done. Don't feel like Come messing on. with it is all. Of course, oh, shut it. My name's Gribble. Kind of Idiot. Don't even chase a baby. We play right. yes. or what? Not fool me. Welcome, your greatness. I've got some good stuff if you're looking to buy. Nicked him off the dead, didn't I? Eh, I mean, raid spoils your majestic. Pleasure, it your greatness. A it's got a beak like any other chicken, don't it? It's just bloody plain. Should mind my step. 
so glad to see you safely arrived, sir. We haven't found the weapon yet, but it's good to be among allies, even if they're a bit unusual. We're still just sir, a babe. I'm glad you found us all right. Odd rubbing elbows with gobs, isn't it? We're still getting used to it. Find a coward won't even chase a baby. We playing or what? Ah, shit! Ah, drink's going straight through me! Oh, that's the plan, mister! We looted an entire inn! Brought back enough booze to drown a dragon! Here's to them we nicked it off! Down one mug of ale for every throat we cut! <laughs> Oh, that's good ale. Nice and chewy. Having a drink. It's all the sweeter when it's free, isn't it? Of course. Sweet piss is still piss. That inn was asking for a burning, selling this muck. Are you even chewy? Brand. The priestess gave me one. I think she did it wrong. Hey, seen a calf more folk than she's cured. Still, she's a chosen of the absolute now. Hold on. I was asking you something, wasn't I? Well, go get one inside then. But have a drink first. It stinks something proper. But they make tasty. Well, I, I don't fancy tasting this thing. Better, it's right pee. Has it even a bone? It's got a beak like any other chicken, don't it? It's just bloody play. Bloody arm is killing me. Ears to the best sedative there is. Booze. Hey, hey. You ain't rounding me up for no raid. No way. I'm drinking. Yeah, ears to the absolute. Got wings. Reckon it can fly? No, too fat. It's dragons is fat and they fly fine. Think the absolute wants me to have another drink. Brave enough to take on our new chicken. It's a big one, but that's just more for the chasing. Wonderful. And you got coin to back you. Cocky, eh? Maybe you've got the skill to back it up. Or maybe I'm about to make a heap of coy. Let's get a crowd going and find out, eh? We're starting a new game! Move your eyes! Getting close to the beast. If he bites, just bite him back. Chase that! Yeah! Let's make it interesting, eh? Let's make it interesting, eh? 
Hey, nice one. Hit the chaser next. You notice a shiver run through his feathered coat. Fear, a desperate longing for the safety of his nest. But his mother is gone, taken. All that's left are these creatures. Cub looks at you with dulled eyes. He longs for home. Well, look here! That thing works even better in a chicken. Reckon we won't eat it after all. Pardon? You're what? Think you misunderstood, mate. Ain't no winnings, cause only a goblin can win chicken chase. Says so in the rules. As the symbol glows, power courses through you. Authority. The Underdark? I, I've, uh, I've had litter mates disappear down there. Here, your coin. We're only a joke. <laughs> Rules! A joke is all. No offense meant. Moving ahead. Oh, we chosen to hear her, like the boss and priestess. You got your money right. Don't want no trouble. Oh. Seems like a good moment to talk. Cub looks at you with dulled eyes. He longs for home. The cub tilts his head. He's considering it. The cub seems anxious to leave, but afraid to defy the goblins. They have to be dealt with one way or the other. You hungry? Dwarfs getting good and crispy. <laughs> this eel tastes like hobgoblin spit. Who's been puking in the barrel? Sorry, sir. Meat ain't ready yet. Dwarves take an age to roast. The first human meat myself, juicier. <laughs> One of his mates was a tasty looking long pig, but he ain't ready for the spit yet. <sighs> Lads have got him inside for questioning. <laughs> Druids are all beardy and woodsy, ain't they? This lot were a scabby gang of tomb robbers. Had a big old war there with them, though. Took five of our meanest lashes to chain it up. 
We'll beat the fight out of it and make it one of our own. <laughs> Thanks, sir. He'll probably spill his guts as soon as he claps eyes on you. He's inside. Keep to the right and follow the screams. <laughs> You hungry? What's holding up the game? Couldn't spare this place from goblins, clearly. <laughs> so I start creeping around. Guess I ain't wasting our host. Not me. And I'll run up to the guy and think, try healing this. You kill him? Nah. He captured him, right? Could have killed him. Easy. But I didn't want to. I figured I'd give him to the drayer. Yeah, keep the absolute happy. <laughs> I'll take that. Then he turns. Must have, must have read my mind, you know. And he raises his arms. Magic again. So I grab his hand. And crush him. Then he lives up this place with his other arm. I need a quick word. You gotta, gotta listen to Crush. He gets mad if you don't. Mad! What? Get! Oh, sorry. I, I didn't know I was talking to you. Mr. Drow. Excuse me. If you have a drow inside, plenty and such. Disgusting waste of stone. Then this other guy twirls his fingers and some light comes out. And the dwarf just stops bleeding. Just stands back up. Booyah. Yeah, they got some shit in magic. You kill him? You seem one of them. Could have killed him. Could have killed him. Could have killed him. Could have killed him. Could have I don't mind if I do. <laughs> Easy. Hey! 
I'm talented. Carefully, there's a trap. Someone there. On my way. Shah's blessings upon you. If you're sure. Fine. I'll be here whenever you rediscover your taste in company. Shroom sucker. Stupid dead bastard. Give him a good kicking. He deserves it. He killed my mum and dad. Made a bloody orphan of me. Such insufferable shrieking. May we not kick the child instead? Well, yeah. They was nasty old geezers. Wanted to cut them a raggedy new smile myself some days. Don't mean we can't enjoy putting the boot into this prick a stick, though. Oh, puke sting. Got nothing better to do than bother orphans. Go bother someone else! Another dirt elf come to boss us around, eh? Oh, I can't 
to break your face. What's you gonna do about it? Run off and cry to your spider, Mum. Killed him. Easy. But I didn't know. With haste. Tastes even better when you nick it out of their cold dead eh? Empty again. These mugs got holes in them or something. Oh, I'm just finishing one last drink. Greetings, your most excellent drowners. What do you think of these breaches? Could be a new uniform. Proper stylish, ain't they? Nicked them off this dwarf we're cooking. It's good meat if you can get it. Better than bloody chicken, anyhow. Shame he was as poor as a chicken. Nothing in his pants except a couple of coins and some lousy poem. Of course. I'm thinking of selling it. Reckon it's worth anything, boss. As the symbol glows, power courses through you. Authority. Right you are, boss. I hope you enjoy it. I think I... Just now? As the drink talking. Absolute would speak to a worm like you. Gotta be chosen to hear her, like the boss and priestess.
be wary. This place is trapped. a break. And these things have stayed interesting. Moving in. Looks like the booze got the better of them. They're practically unconscious. Ah, my favorite traveling companion. Darling, lead on. Just what I need. May the darkness protect you. I know. I felt it. Yes. No. I don't know. The artifact seems to have powers. And a will of its own. It protects us. I don't know how or why, but I'm glad. I felt it go from me to you. You need its help, just as it needs us. It's still just a box, after all. Might not be possible. It's stubborn that way, prone to lashing out. Keep it for now. We can all help to protect it. Shah's blessings upon you. All right, some company wouldn't hurt on the road, especially if there's trouble.
don't have a word. Here, help us out. Says here the goblinoids are obstreperous and malodorous. What's that mean? Ain't that the truth? Proper stink around here, now we've settled it. And all that ruckus makes it hard to concentrate on reading. Belong to some bloke who showed up here asking questions. Bold as a bugbear, he was. Said he's writing a book about the absolute. Lads didn't like that. Said he was a spy or some such. Think they've locked him in the cells already. Well, I had a good chinwag with him, though. Interesting bloke. Yeah, he mentioned that about a thousand times. Don't matter how famed he is, he's gonna end up a zapper. He wanted to know if we felt any extra booyag in the air since converting. Magic. Then what the absolute chooses, I'm brimming with it. Priestess Gut and our boss, Braxlin, are fierce and powerful now. Same as that drow. Yeah. Priestess Gut is fierce and powerful now. So's Regslin, our boss. Them's true souls now. Just like that drow. They have the kind of booyag that comes from being chosen by a god. I ain't finished with it. There's enough reading here to last me a lifetime. As the symbol glows, power courses through you. Authority. Of course, Master. Your mind lurches, reeling suddenly as if bitten. You made me do that. Didn't have no choice, did I? Well, that's some impressive booyag. Absolute must like you. You should go get a drink before the party dies, Dan. about like a drunken ogre. Didn't think Drow was so clumsy. Leave us to rest.
Marvin. They finished cooking that dwarf yet. All the great chasers are dead. Oh, there's going to be the Split foot. the toenail. Legend. Something over there. That wall's barely holding together. You feel nothing in response. Your illithid power is beyond reach until you rest. You don't need to tell me twice, boss. If not over, then through. All the great places are dead. Ronnie Cole, split foot, party, What's that? I think I heard the absolute's voice just now. It's the drink talking. Absolute would speak to a worm like you. Gotta be chosen to hear her like the boss of Christus. Heavy. Moisture drips down your forehead. Pain shoots through your fingers. Your hands shake as they reach upward. Your forehead remains drenched no matter how much you wipe. Chukilgeek vlaketh mazathok! Can you feel it crawling through you? 
tendrils squirming in your chest, gripping your heart, piercing your belly, your bones popping, your flesh swelling. I can. I see it in you. I feel it in me. We are lost. I will be quick with my blade. First you, then the others, then myself. Your minds intertwine. You sense a touch of uncertainty, a touch of disgust. A shadow swims across your vision, and a familiar voice tells you to be calm. You are loved. Lazelle's fear grips you. Not fear of death, but fear of insignificance. The great warrior Lazelle, a failure to her kind. She will wield no silver sword, ride no red dragon. Forever unknown to the great Lich Queen Blacketh. I cannot trust my own mind, so it seems I must trust yours. I will wait, but know this, I am watching. If the sickness does not pass come dawn, I will end us all. I came just in time. You are transforming. Yes, you have. I saved you before. And I'm here to save you again. Don't worry. You will not become a Mind Flayer. Not while I'm around. I'll protect you. time, so listen closely. There is great potential within you. It comes from that parasite. Your instinct is to resist the power it gives, but you must accept it. Nurture it. I will keep it from consuming you, but for the sake of both of us, you must learn to wield it. for the fate of Faerun, a fight we are losing, for now. 
You can change that, but only if you embrace your potential. I have to go. The enemy is closing in. I will be back. Something's on my mind. Galek. I had a dream. As we all did, I suspect. Someone came to me and promised to protect me while claiming that the Parasite could empower me. The Parasite has taken root, it would seem. Every word, every promise, it is Geich deception. You're delusional. I'd sooner trust a night hag than a strange figure bearing dream gifts. I had the strangest dream last night. There was a visitor promising me protection and all sorts of delicious powers from the parasites in our heads. Given our shared affliction, I suppose you had a similar dream. Excellent. Now we can see what these tadpoles can do for us. Exactly. Waste not, want not. Even when it comes to mind flare parasites. Now, was there anything else? Have any strange dreams of late? Vivid ones. Damn. I was hoping my imagination had gotten the better of me. But this must be something more. This dream companion wanted me to use the tadpole, use its power. Whoever it was claimed to be an ally, but I don't know. It seems like we can't escape this mess, in the waking world or otherwise. I had a wild dream last night. This beautiful entity came to me, promised to protect me. Told me the parasite in our heads could give us power. Sounds like it. What did you make of it? Seems risky, if you ask me. Couldn't help getting stuck with a tadpole, but taking favors from it? Spooky. We were both part of Zariel's inner circle. Her by choice. Me, by force. In the grand scheme of things, I'm inconsequential to Zariel. 
Sure, I've got the engine, but I wasn't even her strongest fighter. She favored me like a child favors a captive pet. Mizora envied the attention, I suppose. I'm sure when Zariel gave her the order to hunt me down, Mizora was delighted. I don't know. You'd think she'd have more important things to do. Devils and their pride. <sighs> no kidding. The fighting, the chaos, the betrayal. <laughs> it had the makings of a good stage show, but I did not want to be one of the players. Old Rusty? Sure. Gives me energy. Power. But you've seen it in action. Very hard to control. If I'm excited at all, angry, nervous, delighted, enticed, I burn hot. Hot enough to burn anyone who gets close. I, I try not to think about it. I still think about it constantly, but, you know, I try. One of these days, I'll sort the whole infernal affair out, get myself cooled off, start making up for lost time. But not today. Fate spins along as it should. Dost thou require a new ally? My apologies. Huh. Not quite myself just yet. I had the strangest dream last night. A visitor came to me. A vision of unparalleled beauty and power. She told me she was watching over me, protecting me, and that our tadpoles could prove beneficial if we embrace what powers they have to offer. An uncanny apparition. I'm not entirely sure what to make of it. A real manifestation, perhaps, but not an individual of flesh and blood in the manner you or I would consider to be real. Whether she spoke the truth or not, well, I think I require a little more evidence before taking a fantasy at her word. Until then, Best we speak of other matters. Was there something you wish to ask? I had a dream last night. A vivid one. And so did you, judging from the way my tadpole is tingling. Someone came to me and promised to protect me while claiming that the parasite could empower me. Tempting as these powers sound, we should recognize this dream for what it is, the tadpole's little trick. No good ever came from trusting honey-tongued strangers conjured up by a lithid worms. I wouldn't advise it. Play with fire and you get burned. That's always the way of it. Shame! 
Brawl. Olak cleared us. Got to visit her for the drow, I do. My ass. What's a true soul want with any mate of yours? Private business, that is. Raiding business. But if anyone wants a piss pot guarded, we'll call. Just get your friend branded proper. Right, Sazza? Got better things to do than... No, you don't. Come on, then. Bloody racket. Saluna. As if mingling with a horde of goblins wasn't bad enough. Let's do what we have to do, then get out of here. Quite the understatement, but yes. Let's not linger in this place any more than necessary. Forgive the reception. Had some intruders a while back. Can't be too careful. A druid? Can't be sure. Got one of them chained up below, though. Just follow the honoring. <laughs> Being boozing won't make the branding go any easier. I tried. Bloody racket. Oh, come on now. Oh, smell that meat sizzling. Can't tell if it's the branding or the party. Making me bloody hungry either way. Now, hey, once the whelp starts... It's good you ain't causing trouble. Boss means business now he's got the absolute in his ear. That'll be some real fun. <laughs> my replacement but no i bet merg has drunk herself stupid we got him now eh and once the whelps start singing we'll know who sent them i might be we'll pay him a visit in return that'll be some real fun <laughs> to stare, Wormwalt. If you ain't got the guts to get branded, clear off. I didn't mean no offense. Brand lets us know you're on our side, is all. Ain't just a mark on the flesh. It's magic. Only then what follows the Absolute can see it. Priestess will sort you out. Only thing she likes more than praying is burning folk. You here to get branded too? Priestess reckons we should get marked up before the next raid. Make sure whoever we're sticking it to knows we're doing it for the absolute. How you doing? Look at this. That's God's mark. None of you are worthy. Such a disappointment. How do we get closer to her? Do what us true souls command. Spill the blood of non-believers. Stop interfering.
Look, your lordship. Priestess Gut burned me good. Sorry, master. Didn't mean to get in your way. Bothering my pigeon, he's mine. Keep him safe. Listen to him coo. Till I get hungry or some such. What's it to ya? Then catch one on your own. As the symbol glows, power courses through you. Authority. for a joke, why don't ya? And don't let the lads snatch him up. No tell him what they'll do to him. Bring him back when he's all tuckered out. Here's the key. Pigeon's all yours. Hope Pigeon's behaving himself. My friend, we can speak freely. I'm in no hurry to take my turn on that spit out front. Perhaps you'd be so kind as to unlock this cage? Curiosity, my friend. It didn't benefit the cat, but it's the foundation of my career. Though. I admit I've hit something of an impasse. Please, unlock myself. Volothamp Gedarm, realm-renowned author, author, and tastemaker at your service. Bless you, my friend. I'll wait nicely, but... Please don't tarry. Aha! I knew I could count on you, my friend. We mustn't tarry, but I'd hate for our friendship to end here. Please, won't you meet me once we've both slipped the goblin yoke? Why, by design, my friend. How better to learn the ways of a people than to live among them? I dare say the experiment has proven most fruitful, too. I'd be happy to share my findings... ...once we've found somewhere safe to parley. An invisibility potion, my friend. A bit less refined than your mendacious method, but by God it'll do the trick. Smashing! Soon, my friend. Soon we can share the flagon of something liquid and a tale of daring do. I'll slip away when the coast is clear. See you soon, my friend. I simply can't wait to pick your brain! Um, 
Absolute blessing, sir. Greetings, child. I've met few aside from goblins here. Ah, are you also here to assist with the prisoner? I was invited to teach them some of my techniques. I live for pain and its intricacies, you see. But alas, these goblins seem to thrive on the crude and primitive. Pain without purpose is a terrible thing. Wouldn't you agree? Yes, one who claims to be a master of pain. Pain is intimate and loving, but trying to discuss that with these creatures. Forgive me, but that look in your eyes, something terrible has happened to you. Because I see those same eyes when I look in the mirror, dear one. We've all suffered in these dark times. It is little wonder you bear scars of pain and anguish. Please, let me alleviate this pain. Well, the Maiden of Pain, Loviata, teaches us that pain is a most powerful and sacred sensation. And should our pain delight her, should we embrace such a gift, she will grant her most sacred of blessings. If you would permit it, I can show you firsthand. Go ahead. I'm sure you're in need of a little penance. Is that a promise? Oh, a pity, though. You would have known such sweet relief at my hands. Now, if you'll excuse me. I should return to my own worship. Well met, dear child. Would you enjoy some hands-on worship of Loviata, Maiden of Pain? <sighs> Pity. You do not understand the gift you refuse. Give you peace, you know. But no, you gotta keep silent, don't you? Where do they flee to, you stubborn rat? Please, stop! Who 
Oh, a drow. I, I, I didn't see you there. Please, uh, if you want to have a try. Oh, I couldn't. <laughs> Not with an expert here. Please. We've got some tongue looseners in the fire if you want them. Uh, we'll leave you to it. Come, Grush. Let's go. I don't think I've got the stomach for this. I want to watch that weird priest next door. Sounded like he was beating something up. <laughs> yeah, beating it good. What? The prisoner? Oh, forget about him. There'll be more of them soon. It's just the same thing, over and over. that any meat that falls off is mine. Bet you couldn't make him sing either, could ya? I'd swear he was mute if I hadn't heard him scream so much. Come on! You can do better than that! Please, let me out. There's no reason for this. Somewhere underneath the temple, there's a hidden passage. But Brian had instructions, but the goblins got him. They, they said they'd eat him. Please, please, these shackles. I don't want to die. Helsin, I... I don't know. He, he, he changed into a bear, but I lost sight of him. I don't know if he's still alive. That's all I know. Please, get me out of here. No, no, please, please. They'll kill me! For you. Bet you couldn't make him sing either. You got candles all round you! Use them! Oh, yes! Everyone howls when they're on fire! Well met, dear child. Would you enjoy some hands-on worship of Luvieta, Maiden of Pain? Oh, I have something exquisite in mind. Both Luvieta and I are interested in how you handle pain, dear one. And should you delight her, you will most assuredly receive her most gracious blessing. Trust me. Simply face the wall, and we can begin. So, for your sake, plenty of room next to the peggy of your life. Let us begin, dear one. Yes, this will do nicely. The pain you suffer will cleanse you. Do not fight it. Your voice sounds so sweet, dear one. 
Keep going. Oh, bravo! Encore. Pain is proof that we live. Revel in it. It become part of you. <laughs> Wonderful. You want more? It was a fine strike. Excellent form. <laughs> Good. Turn towards the wall. <laughs> Sweet child, you bore the pain like a true believer. I am proud to have served you this penance. Interesting is an understatement, dear one. Loviata herself found your performance inspiring. She has deemed you worthy of her blessing. Personal note. Thank you. That was positively divine. Your world has strange customs. I need to see that again. Ask him if you can do the penance thing too. What? Get in there. We might learn something. Face the wall and let us begin, dear one. I think you would enjoy... Yes, this is perfect. Pain is proof that we live. Revel in it. Oh, let me try that fancy whip thing after. Now is not the time to ask that. Cry out! Embrace it! I'm not enough here! That is not what I meant. <laughs> Tend to your wounds, and we shall continue. You what? Just bash it somewhere else. I don't get it. I thought the bleeding was the point. That's not... Never mind. No one. 
one back home will ever believe this. Tend to your wounds, and we shall continue. You what? Just bash it somewhere else. I don't get it. I thought the bleeding was the point. That's not... Never mind. You look like you could kick the ass of half the scrubs in here. Bunch of drunken layabouts. No me, though. I'm hard as they come. And I'm itching for another fight. Let's hope it doesn't come to that, Your Honor. wants to know exactly where those adventurers came from. What are they doing? Hiding in trees? We'll smoke them out, no problem. I tell you, the scrying eye was looking at me all strange. Right. What would some drow wizard in Moonrise want to look at you for? Certainly you won't be because of your beautiful eyes. What do they need to be looking at any of us for is what I'm saying. We're all on the same side. Not like we're gonna set the true soul on fire. They're drow. They're stuck-ups. Ignore them. I'd be happy they... Like... Yes, to carry the powder kegs. Yeah. These pariahs, the they're prepared to up. fight for the absolute... Best not do anything what suspicious while he's exactly watching. Fighting. All they gotta do is light up their powder and burn. Then they're prepared to die for the absolute. Dying's the only thing they're good at. Sorry to bother you, mistress. Ooh, got a message right from the guards. No, yes. We no, got visitors. Don't yeah. know who they are. Mercenaries, maybe? Interesting. I wasn't expecting guests. The eye's glassy black surface reflects your gaze. As you gaze deeper, you feel a focus, an intent. You feel a brief lurching connection, the sensation of falling into your own image endlessly. Confusion, alarm, then the presence withdraws, leaving a dull black mirror once more. What are we waiting for? Spears are sharp. The eyes are all wild. The eye's glassy black surface reflects your gaze. You sense no reaction from the unblinking eye. Well, end the matter to save the former. The eye's glassy black surface reflects your gaze. As you gaze deeper, you feel a focus, an intent. You sense no reaction from the unblinking eye. Looks that way. But Scout said that the eye doesn't seem to notice your presence. Another step forward. 
You've been cooking lots in here. Smells good. <laughs> up for discussion that the jingle of coin i hear you've timed it well my friend already turned quite the profit today so i'm feeling generous aye so you have there's one place the zentarim can trade openly thank the gods folk up here like to quiver over right and wrong until the coin starts clinking anyway it's just business if there was money in being good, the Zentarim would be pure as paladins. You joking? Goblins sell the best prisoners. Cheap, quiet, and eager to be elsewhere. Till this crowd converted and started sending their captives to Moonrise Towers, at least. No complaints, mine. I just sold enough smoke powder to cover the loss ten times over. All I need to. There's an awful lot of folk flowing that way. And coin is sure to follow. Might have to find my faith and see this absolute for myself, eh? Still some deals to be done here, though. You want a trade or what? Pleasure. Quite the you recognize the crest she bears, the winged serpent of the Zentarim. Half right, sharp eyes. A Zen is a normal trader, just a matter of what's for sale. Weapons and other exotic goods, true enough. But most of all, we offer discretion. No judgment, no right and wrong, just good deals and bad. That a problem for you? You joking? Goblins sell the best prisoners till this crowd converted. No complaints, mine. I just sold enough smoke powder to cover the loss ten times over. Oh, dry your eyes, ill mater. It's me or a goblin cookpot. I know which I'd choose. Ask the drow they're all bowing to. That glint in her eye is bad news for someone. Not my concern, so long as I'm paid. Speaking of, Something to trade, or what? Never run. Nobody's gonna push us around anymore. Something's on my mind. You've set foot in a restricted area. A swift exit may be in order.
You've been granted free passage. What you do with that privilege is up to you. Nothing for you in there, mate. Wouldn't go in there. Lest you fancy blowing your bones all the way to Boulder's Gate. You still here? have to be a lot smaller to squeeze in there.
these things have stayed interesting. Wits and blades always sharp. Into the shadows. Without delay. Nobody's gonna push us around anymore. Objective noted. Proceeding. No getting through. Faith is obedience. Follow my teachings. Undetected. Efficient path. Can't afford to stay idle. Take you, you. Take you, you. Get going. Time 
for a little dip. All's well that ends. Not as bad as it could have. Should mind my step. Here's somebody special. The Absolute has touched you, hasn't she? Priestess Gut needs to touch you too. Hold out your arm so I can mark your flesh. Let's the faithful recognize one another quick sharp. That way nobody will mess with you. And it's charged with magic. Ordinary slobs can't see it. Only us that follow the absolute. You ready? Brace yourself. This'll sting. Hold still. As pain muddles your thoughts, your minds become entangled. A familiar sensation. She, too, carries a parasite. Darkness seems to swallow the temple, leaving you with a vision of the goblin priestess receiving instruction from a handsome young man, one of the chosen. The vision dissolves away. You stand before the goblin priestess in the temple once again. Her faith floods into you, a tide of shuddering ecstasy. Her tadpole nestles within that mania, secure, hidden. I feel you in there, digging around. Works both ways. And I saw some weird shadows swimming around in your head just now. Maybe I can help with that. Us true souls gotta look out for one another. You've come to the right place. With the Absolute's will, I can fix anything. Let's deal with this in my chapel. It's private. Don't want this lot interfering with true soul business. Oi! Priestess! We want house. the mark! Why yeah. do they think they're talking to I'm you? I'm good enough for the Absolute! Waiting around. Ready to clear your head. Whatever the Absolute tells me to. Don't worry, she loves you. I can tell. Don't want a crowd of gawpers. Everybody else needs to leave. Eager for battle. Quickly then. Ready to clear your head. Smart. All you need to do is open yourself to the Absolute. And I'll do the rest. Don't want anyone peeping on private matters. So... There we go. Secret and safe. Well, secret. Psionic feelers creep across your mind like a pickpocket's fingers seeking flaws in fabric. It's all slippery in there. What are you hiding? An image of the Mind Flayer reaches out to her from your memories. Helps! 
We need to fish that thing out before it eats any important parts of your brain. No. It's messing with your brain. You're seeing things, probably hearing voices too, yeah? Don't you worry. I've got everything I need to fix you. Might get a bit messy, though. It involves you putting your trust in the absolute. Simple. You won't regret this. Being a true soul, you know the absolute don't like to touch nothing unclean. So drink this. It'll purify ya. You recognize telltale flecks of werejackal blood. It's a potion of sleep. I ain't deceiving nobody. I'm trying to help. This could have gone easy for you. Not now, though. I'll tear you to shreds. Indolence breeds madness. I will ascend. My face protects me. Keep a blade close. Let's try this. Reese's a good Can't even catch my breath. Won't work. Victory awaits. My path be true. Oh, good. Again. Again. in that corpse. You should take a look. This one is a true soul parasite. 
that can enhance you. You can absorb its potential, open your mind to it. You already know how. Don't worry, you won't come to harm. I'll protect you. Your mind swells as it subsumes everything the tadpole has to offer. Everything it was and everything it was destined to be. Pure potential. Pure power. Good. You have grown your power and improved your chances of survival. Indulged. Just helped yourself to a little more power, I see. And there isn't a tentacle to be seen. <laughs> Not a bad deal, I'd say. My only complaint is that you didn't want to share. I wouldn't mind indulging myself. I admit, I wasn't keen to be the first to try it. Uh, just in case there were any, uh... Surprise side effects. <laughs> but now that we know it's safe, I'm all for experimenting. Oh, that's how it is. Pity. Not that I don't understand. I'd probably keep them for myself, too. But uh, do consider sharing next time. Because if you continue to get between me and what I want, I will have to find a way through you. Just something to think about. Kinja! No good will come of devouring a gay worm, no matter what you might think. Mark my words, this power would be no blessing but a curse. You might as well ask me to gouge out my eyes for the promise of sight, or slice off my tongue for the promise of taste. Consume all the gate tadpoles you wish. I'm not so craven. through every vein. What am I to do then? It won't hear my screams. It won't care if I beg. I will be remade in its image. My faith in Vlakith will guide me, and my own might will sustain me. I have no need of this depraved power. Githyanki have long studied Geich and used what we've learned. The Zaithisk itself was devised from such knowledge. The tadpole is perhaps not just a curse, but a weapon I can twist and mold to my advantage. Very well. I will swallow my disgust and avail myself of the parasite's powers. It was bad enough having just one of those tadpoles forced upon us. I can scarcely believe you actually inflicted another on yourself.
On one hand, they seem useful. But on the other hand, or perhaps tentacle before long, we know where they're coming from, and what lies at the end of that path. I never expected Ceramorphosis to be tempting. I think we should resist these powers. There's simply too many unknowns for us to risk it. Explore these powers then. I just hope we don't come to regret it. Breathe deep and move. They'd be comfortable since we've been here. I miss the swamp. We treat the spiders real kind, sir. Feed them the plumpest prisoners. Spiders are down there, boss. Lovely spiders. Keeps them real clean, we do. You with that other drow what's been bossing us around? Where we're... But it's nice being a drow, strutting about like your ass is made of diamonds. Thought you, drow, had already gone off to the tower. Praise his ever bleeding axe. Praise his throne of flaming iron. Praise McGlubbiet! You know McGlubbiet. A tyrannical deity who treats his goblinoid followers as slaves. Trying to interrupt my prayers? Scared of a real god? You're as goomless as the rest of them. Good on you. Don't matter to me if it's Loaf or my boy McGlubbiet. It's about tradition. This upstart everyone's praising is gonna trample all over our gods and our faith. Makes me sick. Could tell you were as balmy as the rest of them as soon as I clamped eyes on you. Bollocks to your absolute, and bollocks to you and all. You think this is funny? I've been the one laughing when things turn ugly. Safer in here, and out there. Stick him like a pig. Oh, if that kind of slander... Oh, Don't get too nice comfortable, you horrible sacks of nuts. Slow might need us any time. They've been comfortable since right. we've been here. Yeah. Ragslin weren't lying when he said anyone could join the Absolute's ranks. Keep moving, unless you're wanting a clubbing and drubbing. You're either with the Absolute or against her. Ain't no in between. Here 
and he would have you casting aspersions on the absolute. <laughs> I'll tear out your tongue and cram it up your faithless arse. Hands off my tongue, you bloody burk. I'm pledged to the absolute. Arse and all. Hold on. What in the ruddy hells is an axe person? It's like libel. As in, I'm liable to smash your face if you go casting aspersions. Don't waste the step. I want to have a word. If you're heading down to the spiders, give him a tickle. They're real friendly. Enjoying your visit, your lordship. Sugar and that shukok, or Tasho Kek doors. I command you, corpse, speak. Reveal truth to the Absolute! By Vlacket's blade, a geich. Nothing. Must be reading it wrong. Suga nal shukuk! The hobgoblin turns to you, and the parasite squirms in your skull. You taste the ale on his tongue, and the bile in his soul. The visions cloud your inner eye for a brief moment once again. You see the hobgoblin bowing before the armored elf you'd glimpsed before. The elf speaks of the hunt for a great weapon, and the rewards that will go to whoever finds it. The hobgoblin's eyes gleam hungrily. Another drow true soul. As if there weren't enough of you. He doesn't speak his next words, yet they still rattle your skull from within. You ever talk to a dead squid? Now's your chance. This Mind Flayer's build is smaller, its garb plainer. A fearsome creature even in death, but not the one that tormented you. Yet it too roamed the Nautiloid. It would have seen you, known you. Absolute says the dead Squiddy had a weapon. I reckon the killer nabbed it and scooted off to that looter camp. We find who killed it, and we find who took that weapon. So settle in. You feel Shadowheart's anxiety. The weapon the Absolute seeks. It's the artifact that she carries. The same one that protected you as you entered the goblin camp. Her mind focuses. Their suspicion cannot be aroused. They cannot discover that the weapon they seek is within their grasp. Then take it. Absolute knows I am not getting anywhere. You read aloud the words on the scroll. The hideous corpse rises. Tentacles writhing. Ragslin frowns at a question he would never have asked. Then the creature speaks in visions. Curved drow blades, crude goblin torches, null teeth dripping blood. You see other mind flayers arranged in a serene circle. Absolute unity. Absolute power. Damn it! That tells me nothing! You feel Ragslin's suspicions. A true soul should never ask about the Master. 
Again, visions flow through you. A swarm of Githyanki dragon riders. Silver blades held high. Control panels melting. Flesh pods spilled open. Give them a hunt. They know something. Suspicion floods Raxlin's mind. Your brain howls as you consider your final question. You see dark tunnels lit by noxious pools of brine. The darkness spreads through the earth. The sky splits open and nautiloids pour out of a void that consumes the stars. What in the... The corpse collapses, silent once more. No, no! We're not done! Riddles, all of it! And nothing to show for the trouble but rotting squid meat! No answers, no killer, and no damned weapon! <sighs> the damned trow was right! Can't let her get all of that glory. Seems I ain't done with you. Report to the drow. Minthar is the name. She's mounting an attack on that blasted grove. Tell her you'll join her. Say that again. Cause I know I didn't just hear you refuse the Absolute! Falling in line. Just what I like to see. No prizes for guessing what this weapon they're after really is. The artifact. That was intense. I wouldn't want to bump into that thing while it was still alive. Someone needs to keep an eye on these buggers. I don't make a habit of questioning the Absolute. Now quiet! Draw Ragslin's a true soul. Oh, look at him, eh? Boss put you to work, huh? A true soul, eh? Well, you're in good company. I'll do what he says. Ain't wanna make the boss any madder than he already is. Rivers, praise the absolute. What you need in Drow? The Absolute's got room for everyone, long as you don't defy her. And nobody's that stupid. If the Absolute says to take orders from a drow, then we tow the mark. No questions. You look spiffy to me. What do you need a healer for? Well, let me know when you find one. Priestess Guts better at causing pain than curing it. I wouldn't dawdle if I were you. I doubt true soul Minthara has much patience left. Picking is a Let's move. We'll no one. 
won't stop me yet. Then I can crack that open. Traps, please. Let's get on with it. On I go. How much farther can I go? Assume nothing. Very well. Any questions? Midthar is the one you're after. What they do ain't exactly fighting. All they gotta do is light up their powder and burn. Then they're prepared to die for the absolute. Good. Okay. Dying's the only thing they're good at. The eye doesn't seem to notice your presence. Drow? Tell me, Saza, did your misadventures take you to the Underdark? They was in some rickety druid grove, mostly full of tieflings, but them intruders you're after were hiding out there. I presume you dealt with my prey and massacred the rest. Ah, oh. well, the thing about that is, they sort of massacred us, but this mug helped me to escape. I say we stick a few holes in him. Show how grateful we are. You feel a cold hand caress your mind as the drow appraises you. Oh, dear. Your prisoner is one of the Absolute's favorites, Saza. A true soul. No, a compy. They was in the grove, hanging around with the tieflings. Undercover, no doubt. 
carrying out the Absolute's will. Oh, Saza, you have made a grave error. And it will be your last. My spiders are hungry, little one. But before they feast, tell me where that grove is. And I may yet spare your life. It's past the bridge, to the east. Big old gate covered in ivy. Don't hurt me, mistress, please. I will not hurt you. My spiders will have that pleasure. No, I'm up top, I'm sorry. But I didn't know who they was. They didn't tell me nothing. Through sheer luck, that pathetic worm has brought me the information I need. And it seems that the inhabitants of the grove trust you. We can use that against them. You have a part to play in this slaughter. Return to the grove. When my raiding party approaches, throw open the gate and signal me. The fate of the grove's inhabitants hangs in the balance. Killing the drow here would spare them, but it might be better to face her warband at the grove itself, on familiar ground. On the other hand, participating in the slaughter as she asks may be the perfect way to earn her trust and access to the cult's inner circle. Good. Marshalling the goblins is no simple matter, but my warband will be ready to attack by next light. Once we are in position, we will wait for your signal, and then we will break them all. Gather the raiders. It is Yes, time. your ladyship. We won't let you down. I need a quick word. Hello again. Commander's waiting to meet you. Don't be shy. How about cast off from the new one? How'd you like right that? Join me. The Absolute demands blood! Nothing can stop us! If you fail me, the yes. spiders Look will at feed on your own. We're invincible! Oh, come on now. They're just having a bit of fun. Aye, so much fun that those thieves almost got past. We got them now, eh? And once the whelps start singing, we'll know each other. Who's rounding up the spiders? I think we'll pay them a visit. Nobody's gonna lay a finger on me. It's gonna be a message on my mind. And I'll get more kills than any of ya. No prisoners, no must. Let's get We strike for the absolute. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
if you're heading down to the spiders. Hello again. Come. Well, hello. Watch your back. What to do? Light on my feet. for communal use, it seems. Best show some respect, or some more cunning. Hmm. Steal something, or, or act the bollocks, will ya? I'm itching to throw someone in the brig. It'll be fun, I promise. Follow the noise. Wargs have been going crazy for it. Just hope these scraps will satisfy the bunch when they're in this state. Hands off. This one's for the pups. Swift as my feet can carry me. Three. <laughs> again! Again! Make it squeal again. We're juicing it up. The beast came in here with those robbers, killed Dink and Mince too. Boss is thinking of serving it to the wargs. And it makes funny noises. We made it squeal. Look, look, you'll see. Give me that rock. I'll show ya. Oh, you're also, uh, yes, uh, of course. Your blood runs quicker. Feeding the gnawing absence at the center of your mind. But... But I want to hear it squeal. One, that's a true soul you're talking to. Show some respect. S sorry, sir. I'll open the cage for you. The bear sizes you up, 
wary, but not yet attacking. On the move. won't take me yet. Glucius! Time to strike. Hitazeth!
pardon the viscera. One should cherish all of nature's bounty, but... Goblin guts are quite far down the list. You aided a bear without knowing if it would savage you. <laughs> a true friend of nature. Or perhaps a lunatic. Either way, I owe thanks. I am the druid Halson. Yes, but just Halson will suffice. Unbecoming to demand honorifics from the one who saved my hide. Parasites in your head? You mean you have one of them? Father, preserve you, child. You're infected, aren't you? The Mind Flayer's spawn. But... something's different. You're aware of the monster inside you. You don't bow to the Absolute like the true souls do. How is this possible? Perhaps. But I wouldn't want to place all my faith in blind luck. You weren't speaking lightly when you said you needed help. Let me tell you what I know. I've been studying these parasites for a while now. Ever since I discovered these so-called true souls are infected with them, someone is using very powerful magic to modify these tadpoles. They're using them to exert control over the infected. I'm sorry to say... I can't undo that magic, which means I can't cure you. But that doesn't mean I can't help. I didn't find what I came here for, the way to remove the tadpoles. But I found the next best thing. I found out where they come from. That must be where these enchantments are placed on them. And it's where you'll find your cure. I overheard that the cultists are sending all of their captives to Moonrise Towers. Innocents go in, true souls come out. Given that all of these true souls are infected, it has to be the source for this magic. If you want to find a cure, you must head there and discover how the tadpoles are being manipulated. I'm as certain as I can be. If you have a better alternative, I won't stop you. I can't stop you, in fact, which brings me to my next problem. I have no right to ask more of you, but if you could help me, I'd be free to join your journey to Moonrise. I cannot allow these butchers to threaten my grove. The natural order must be protected. Thanks. If you prevail, I'll owe you the debt of a lifetime. It's too late to stop things from here. The goblins are already marching on the grove in force. You must get ahead of them. Muster the defenses. Then the grove is doomed. And perhaps you as well. I'll pray to Sylvanus that you have a change of heart. But time is short. As you wish. Better I impart the knowledge to you now, in case I fall trying to defend the Grove. Traveling to Moonrise is no small task. Expect dangers like you've never seen before. This is different. There's more fingers on a hand than there are survivors of that place. To get to the towers, you'll need to pass through a terrible place. A cursed place. This curse shrouds everything in shadow. You will not find life, light, or anything natural there. Any who linger are twisted by the curse. They become shadow beings, tormented, 
dangerous souls. You're half right. You have to get to Moonrise, but you still have a choice of how to get there. You could go overland, along the Risen Road or through the mountains. Easier at first, but you'll run into the Shadow Curse eventually. You could also go under. There is a tunnel somewhere in this very temple of Saluna. It leads to Moonrise Towers, through the Underdark. Long ago, a man called Ketherick Thorm built a secret stronghold deep down there, before rallying a whole army of Dark Justicius, Shah worshippers. Dark Justicius? I must see for myself. Aridan and his lot were looking for a way down there. They were promised riches if they retrieved a relic called the Night Song. But I think there's more. From this stronghold, Ketherick's forces could access both the Temple of Saluna and Moonrise Towers. But he was defeated before he could launch an attack. If you can find this place, I'll wager it will reveal a more direct path to Moonrise Towers, and may bypass the worst of the Shadow Curse. Anything is preferable to risking the Shadow Curse. You'll need to pick up where Aradin left off. Find the hidden entrance. It's somewhere in these ruins, from what I've heard. My business there began long ago, and has led to a lifetime of regret. I helped overthrow Kethrick Thorm and his Dark Justicias years ago, but I failed to prevent him from unleashing darkness across the region before he was defeated. I spent years researching the curse, trying to put an end to it. Nothing has worked. Yet. If I could join you and get close to Moonrise, perhaps I could have both helped you find a cure for your infection and lifted the curse. But the Grove must come first, I'm afraid. Precisely. Then perhaps I could have done something about both the Shadow Curse and Ceramorphosis aberrations. But in my eagerness, I put far too much faith in the abilities of Aradin and his band. We didn't even get close. I'll need that luck, along with all the Oak Father's blessings. It seems the Absolute's forces are already marching on the Grove. I'll have to try and get ahead of them. Do what I can. Farewell. I don't expect we'll meet again. At least, not in this life. I've seen everything. What's next, I wonder? I'll grab that. 
One day I'll catch a break. That's a friendly looking shadow. Hmm. What's next? Let's try this way. Let's get going. Might be useful. At the ready. The foul stench of slaughter turns suddenly sweet through the rat's nose. Blood smell. Life smell. Not like the great hollow below, which smells only of death. Twitches impatiently. Her teeth bite air as though it is flesh, but it doesn't sate her hunger. Hands off! This one's ours! for this I don't know the boss didn't say he just said some wizard called Laroakin would reward us if we found it 
That's all. Longing for small spaces, stone walls hugging close, confining. There is a light here, in the tight space beneath the floor. Secret things that shine. You would have you cast in expressions on the absolute. off my tongue, you bloody bird. I'm pledged to the absolute. Yes, my desire. Closer, my sweet. I will wrap you and bind you and bite you and eat you. My queen of binding, my queen of wrapping and holding. What would you have me do? There is another drow here, but she has forgotten you, my queen. She is forsaken. Yes, my queen. You are no goblin. Who are you? Answer me or die. This is my home. Do not. Stay long. You are safe. We will not bite one another. I should speak up.
need to find a way forward. Huh? I'll give it a shot. Goblins are such vile little parasites. Given your own nature, are you really the one to judge? to the easy path. should speak up. Aridan's back with his tail between his legs. I'm glad for your help, but I'd hoped you were Halsin. Yeah, when he ran off with the druid that saved our hides the first time. Without Halsin, this grove's not so friendly, I'll tell you that. Need anything else? Of course. But please, remember, you're not the only one in need. Looking for steel? I have, well, something close. Hold on to it for now. I haven't quite worked out a schematic for a new design. Might take me a bit of crunching to figure out something suitable. If it can even be done. But it's my top priority, believe me. Anything to take my mind off, well, everything. I 
have something to ask. Another one. What are you under there, then? Ant. Or rocks. The keepers of this place, they change their form to fit their need. They become birds to hunt on the wing, bears to tear flesh with teeth. But for me, only oxen, only same old hay, and I cannot even eat it because the horned ones hide their shiny bits inside. Hiding things, thinking they're clever, not clever. Sometimes I eat the shiny bits and they have to go looking for them on the other end. I have no more to say. Even old hay tastes better than your idle chatter. Be gone. I am hungry. Let's have a look. You're addressing me, a humble ox. How quaint. Something's off. This creature isn't what it appears to be. No. You are incapable. I'll tell you this much. I'm going to Baldur's Gate, with or without the rest of these poor sods. Now, that's all I have to say besides, and I really mean this, move. Huh. Tick tock. Funny. Move. Well, at least make a run for it. Just once. Yeah, just once. You're curious. You got a great many odors about you. What happened to you? He listens, rapt, hanging on every word. As you near the end of your tale, you see his attention drift as he licks his lips, thinking about something else entirely. The bear is preoccupied with a shiny pebble. Your presence goes unnoticed.
concentrating. Does this look good? Is the coin in the middle? Ah. Uh. <clears throat> he lets out a tentative chirp. Gaining confidence, he starts a song, abandoning his nest-building efforts. bird is singing as loudly as his lungs will allow, practicing fervent. The boar prances around, haunches clenching and unclenching impatiently. Where's Alcin? Promise me a mate! Here we go. doesn't respond. It simply bears its teeth. The rat glares at you, but says nothing. The rat watches your movements, but does not speak. Uh, another stranger come to vex me. What will you do? Hunt me, grab my tail, shout until my head hurts. Stupid or a liar, neither is needed here. Go! Leave! You are not wanted here. says nothing, trying to rest. Ah! Big dog. No. I got too close. Hills. Near. Road. The bird lapses into silence, her head lolling to the side. She lies limply on the table, completely still. I don't want blood on my hands. We have the right to defend our home. Any word on Master Halson? I don't want to kill anyone, but I won't let this grow be hot. Not again. Any word on Master Halson? Thank the Father he's alive. Please, you have to get him out of there. Then you'll both die. No one else will free you from that tadpole. Please, be smart about this. Save him. Take it one step at a time, Nettie. Come on.
He didn't come back, did he? His smell is gone. He's gone. Master, he left with the weaponed two legs. He said he'd be back. But I can smell them, the weaponed ones, and I cannot smell him. He's not coming back. No, the woods have gone dark. There's too many predators lately, and I was never the strong one. Still nothing. Still nothing. Could have. Don't waste the step. Hmm. Seems like the best way. It's up for discussion. Still rough, but my song is getting there. Our time grows short. If Korga won't abandon her madness, then we'll have to try the road, goblins or no. used to think the goblins would kill us the second we set foot outside. But after hearing what you did at the gate, well, I still think they'll kill us. But at least we can put up a fight. Well, we came through Avernus. We might not look it, but we're tough. Who knows? Some of us might even make it to Baldur's Gate. Oh, well, aren't you an optimist? I've seen what the goblins can do to a vulnerable caravan, so I'm not as confident. But if you are, why not put a little gold on the line? sure you're good for it. Just leave the gold on my corpse. After seeing you at the gate, I'm sure you'll last longer than us. Excellent. And since I ain't one to leave a debt unpaid, that means we're destined to meet in Border's Gate. Looking forward to it.
Look well, friend. There's no time to waste. Taller ones. They took the shiny one. He killed many. Yes, it was screaming, waving around its metal. I made him stop screaming. Him? He was the biggest. No, I'm the biggest. I have a lot on my mind. And well. Go home, cave, mother. regards you lifelessly. No more questions. The corpse regards you. Lifelessly. Gauntlet, Marilla, flaming fist. Boulder's Gate. Brow, goblins, had one in my sights, then darkness. corpse remains silent. She doesn't know. Dead or dying. The spell's power wanes. You can ask no more questions. Breathe deep and move. Corpse regards you lifelessly. Crook Hunter. Absolute wants him. Slaves. Good. Oh, 
Saka. Nick. Stupid. Come. Temple. Close. The spell's power wanes. You can ask no more questions. Corpse regards you lifelessly. Ellie, fisherwoman, ultra. No, up river, too far. regards you lifelessly. Marcus! Fission! Brains! Didn't see him coming! Woman! Beautiful! Couldn't look away. Went west. Others followed, couldn't help themselves. Elf ran north, up the beach. The spell's power wanes. You can ask no more questions. Corpse regards you lifelessly. Francis, merchant, selling pottery. Doesn't matter. Nothing matters. Your greatness. Something catch your eye. Been a pleasure, your greatness. That's right. Keep drinking. Oh, you lot spend.
Lost. Whatever it takes. The corpse regards you. Lifelessly. Bell's power wanes. You can ask no more questions. No one back home will ever believe this. Very well. Hmm. 
you've set foot in a restricted area, a swift exit may be in order. Managed to talk your way in. No easy feat. It seems the rules have not changed in your absence. You're still trespassing. If everyone else minds their business, I'll be fine. Let's keep to the shadows. I've got a long road ahead. Breathe quiet. Move with care. Let's prowl. <sighs> I'll fill that one later. Waiting. I crave blood. Action, not reaction. You've wandered into a forbidden area. You sense it might be time to leave. to the easy path. <laughs> But that will fit in my pack. Not bad. I've had better days. Speak.
What's hiding here? Here goes nothing. I wonder who or what those chains are for. No traps, please. Careful, I might. Let's move. Interlocking circles with moons and stars. This must be the seal mentioned in that journal. This device requires further examination. Might be worth a look.
What now? Very far down. We'll have to go in to see the bottom. Here we go. Thank you. 